Hello everyone and welcome to the Kingdom Hearts themed podcast. I'm here joined by these three beautiful people, two of the usuals from our podcast, and we have a special guest here. Want to introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Derek, but I also go by Nanako because I'm a cringy weeaboo. Oh, what a wee, bro. What a wee. SMH. But uh, the two usuals from our podcast are here. Edgar, colorful me, and then Vo- Void over here, Justino. You were, got, you were about to call me Vern or some shit? I don't know. No, <laughs> wait, Vern. Hey, what's up, Vern, man? <laughs> oh my god. Shut up, Vern. And Edgar, how are you doing, bro? I'm good. I'm just playing some Star Wars while, while we talk. Bro, you're a Star Wars fan, bro? bro. Star Wars what? Jedi Academy. Oh, nice. You should, uh... Um... Uh, <laughs> You should play Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, pretty it's sure good. You. I mean it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, good. It is a good game. So with every I can't podcast, play it much right now though, because I have uh, my Xbox at home and I'm not taking it with me to college. Rip. That's understandable. But with every podcast, I always like to start off with like, how are you guys doing, and what have you been doing recently? So what about you guys? How have you guys been? Uh, I mean, I guess I'll start. Fuck. I've just been playing uh, Dragon Ball Fighters because I, uh, I, I need, I need, I need my fix. And uh, okay, but are you good uh, at it? Uh, I mean, I'm. I'm I mean, he's better there. than me at it. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, You're probably better than me, but that really is insane. I think much. he's, bro. He's better than all of us here. Okay, that's. Just... <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm. I'm, I'm I'm still climbing through the ranks. I'm still Super Saiyan 3 rank going on to Majin and then Living Legend. I'm sorry, three more ranks until Living Legend and then I'm in like top 10 category. But, but that's besides the point. We're not we're not talking about Dragon Ball this this, uh, yeah, no. this, uh, this podcast. Yeah, no, but this is just to ask, you know, how you guys have been. What about you, Derek? What have you been doing recently? Um, I've been playing a lot of Metal Gear Solid 5 and uh, Osu. Cause that's just games kind of consistent with me, but He's on yeah, no, I've been right playing now. like Metal Gear Solid Five like nonstop every weekend, so that's some good shit. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I All also right. been playing Last of Us Two again. Oh, because, e- e- of course, enough. <laughs> you played that game too well, much. I thought right? we liked Last of Us Two here. Bro, all right, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> this podcast was a mistake. We keep it away from here. <laughs> Says you. No, I, would ask, eh, I don't want to talk about that. We'll, I'd ask we'll Edgar, get into that. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> I asked Edgar if, what he would be doing, but he already said what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, that's you asked me first. <laughs> <laughs> you're already, you know, you're just playing your Star Wars and all that stuff. Yeah. All right. Made my computer fix tomorrow, so I'll probably have some new stuff lined up for next time. All right. Hey, hey. All right. So you know, let's start off with the, with our, you know, with Kingdom Hearts. The first question here, you know, is. How did you guys get into the series? So with Derek being the, you know, the special guest here, you can go ahead and uh, start off first. Oh, you, you're gonna treat me like a special guest. Oh. I mean, you technically okay. are. Yeah. yeah you basically, yeah, yeah you are. Not. Listen, I might be special, but hey, bro, you're, you're special also a guy. guest, so just um, take it. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, well, I guess I'll get going on <laughs> my whole thing. I don't know. It's I've been a fan of Kingdom Hearts almost pretty much the entire entirety of my life except i kind of found it when i was like five i think and i was turning six and my bro- i came into my brother's room because i watch him play video games all the time and uh he was just playing this game and donald duck and goofy were on screen and i was like what the heck is this this looks awesome and then i literally uh sunk almost my entire life into the game series so i'm a filthy nerd <laughs> All right, so Edgar, Justin, who wants to go next and share their experience on how they got into the series? All right, you can go, Edgar. Ah, I don't mind. Uh, so I first started playing. It was like fourth or fifth grade, so I was like maybe like nine or ten. Damn, you were old when you got into the series. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, crazy. Because right. I I had a I had a PS2 and then. Uh, were you had a PS2? <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, how we played the game. Bro, I can't my, my, someone had given it to me as a gift, and I was like, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. All right, so like... I, I don't know shit about Final Fantasy when I first started playing. That makes sense. But, you know, everyone knows Disney. True. And the game, yeah. is, I, the game, the game was fun. I, the only thing that ever bothered me was the platforming in the fucking Tarzan world. 
And the camera was a little weird in the original version. <laughs> oh, the Tarzan world. That we'll but never overall, see overall, I, I really enjoyed the game. I almost beat it. Uh, I got to turn a bog and then I hit a wall. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because I learned a few years later that I was like right before the final boss. Hey, uh, that's why you gotta just be born with an older brother who's like good at games because you're not. Oh. Yeah, someone. I did have an older brother who's good at games. I just got further yeah. than him because he stopped playing. Yeah, my brother beat the game like like a year or so before I played it, and then I was playing it, and I'd be like, "Yo, can you please help me? I, I can't beat the boss." And then he just beat it for me, and then yeah, it was it was a bonding experience. And what I would now it's Justin's turn. All right, so kind of, kind of a bit of a, a bit of a long tail, but like mm -hmm. the 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 short version of it is that like I didn't know jack shit about the series growing up. I didn't really play that many games. Uh, it was only like later in life when I finally like uh, when my family moved out of my like grandma's house that we finally like got money to get stuff. But uh, I had a PS2 for the longest time. I only had Spider-Man 2. And a couple other games. Like it's a good game. That's a good game. Yeah. It's a good game. It's a good game. But like, and Jam Pack uh, 2005, which is like a disc with like demos on it, right? Hmm. Similar, similar to um, the PS1 days, right? Yeah. And um, what was it? I remember that disc very well because it had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, the one based on the animated series, the the newer one, I mean, the 2000 one. But, uh, that's besides the case. Like, this was, like, the fourth game I ever played on my PS2 because, uh, my brother introduced it to me, and he was, like, really big into it. And I, uh, I got into it, like, when I was, like, eight, maybe nine. I forget when. But I know it made such a huge impression on me that, to this day, I... I... Tatsuya, Tatsuya Nomura got my, got my balls in check, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Now oh, more than for ever. real, bro. Like fuck, man. Like, like you get you get that taste. Like I've played Kingdom Hearts one so many times, it's not even funny. Like, same. Like, like Jacob, I've told you how many times I've played it throughout the HD collections. I haven't told you how many times I played that shit on PS2. Bro, like, like I've played that. I, I've lost count. I've <laughs> had like... Wait, what, wait, what, wait, hold on. Funny I'm enough, that's the one game I've never actually gone back to replay. <laughs> and like, it's the Which first one, one that Game I played Mark? a lot. Yeah, it's the first yeah, one. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts one. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts one is the only one that I played that many that many times. Oh, because I'm that way with time, the second like... one. Yeah. Because fucking what was it? At that time, like I was like I said, I was poor as shit. So I only had that one game for a long time, and I remember I had that Spider-Man two. Dragon Ball Z Budokai One, Ooh. the like the really the really the claymation looking mm -hmm. ass one, <laughs> and um, uh, and robots. You know the the, the movie the game. Oh my! Uh, Robin Williams. Bro, that is basic ass, <laughs> bro. Uh, but like that's what I had to grow up on, and Kingdom Hearts was definitely high up there. Like it was just it was just magical. Yeah, I get you. Let me actually share my story of how I got into Kingdom Hearts. Actually. It's more of a comedic one. So this is a post-recording uh, me here, uh, and I ended up losing 12 minutes of footage. This footage is gone now, I have no idea where it's at, and the only thing I can think of was that we were talking about s stuff related to, you know, like fake Kingdom Hearts stuff. But I will mention the story, at least, of how I got into Kingdom Hearts. And the story of how I got into Kingdom Hearts was back in 2002, I was just a four-year-old boy just sitting there on Christmas Day, you know, getting gifts from, you know, Santa and all that stuff. And, you know, my dad comes in and uh, gives me, I think, a PS2. And that was, like, my first time I got a PlayStation 2. And he gave me some games for it. And one of the games I got for it was Kingdom Hearts. I knew nothing of it. And all my dad was saying to me, he's like, look, son, you can play as Donald and Goofy in the game. So, of course, me as a kid's like, oh, I get to play as Donald and Goofy. Uh, cool, let me go ahead and <laughs> play this game right now. And, you know, seeing all the other Disney stuff, you know, made me happy, you know. So when I saw these other characters I didn't know about, I'm like, who are these characters? I didn't care about them, I just wanted to see the Disney characters. But now it's a different story. I love the original characters. They're a big part of me and all that stuff, and I, I love them a lot. Anyways, once again, I'm sorry for this, uh, for losing all this footage. 
And yeah, let's continue on with the podcast. And then I realized that's only exclusive to Final Mix. And then I knew about the whole fucking, like, the whole Japanese exclusivity for that shit. Bro, remember when Final Mixes were exclusive? Like, <laughs> it oh, was such a God. bad time. And, like, you had to pay for an American an American player. They had to pay upwards of 80-something dollars to get something called a Swap Magic to fucking play the Japanese version of the game on your American PS2 because guess what? You know, region locks them, all right? <laughs> like, oh, the region locks. I hated that. Did PlayStation was, 2 have it? Like, PlayStation 2 had region locks? It was region yeah. locked. Damn. Yeah, yeah. The, the swap magic That's was like, a way to get around yeah. it. Same thing okay. with the, the weird Game Shark that they had. Game Genie, Game Shark. Okay. I don't remember which one they had for PS2. Like, man, like, speaking of region locking, because, like, Remember when Square Enix would uh, prevent like Kingdom Hearts games from like the final mix versions of the games to be released in the West and all that stuff? Please don't remind me. It's no, no. And then they were I like, was not, hey, bro, "That was so not fun." It really wasn't. <laughs> you guys remember when Disney kept taking down uh, the Simple and Clean uh, Planet B remix on YouTube? I think they. Uh, I'm pretty sure they still do that here and there. I've seen it at times so, like go it away. Yeah, it'd be like that. But no, on the topic of final remix, uh, final mix though, it's like, bro, can you remember all that time, man? Just having to wait until we finally got it. It took so damn long for us to finally get it, but when we got it, it was like an epic moment, man. I was so happy to finally get the final mix versions of the games here. Like, bro, like, I just want to, sorry to cut you off, but like, I just want to say, anybody getting into the series right now, bro, you have the treasure trope right now. Literally, you, really do. you get insane, in on that and these bullshit, kids are so, you, you these literally kids are pay, so spoiled. You pay I don't like it's even better, 20, it's bucks, like, 20 bucks right it's now. even better as it goes on sale if you all have, the fucking yeah, time actually, on it digitally. Guys, if you have it on X, if you have an Xbox only, like, and Game Pass, you can get literally every single game besides Melody and Memory. Yeah. And it's so funny because I was telling my nephew how spoiled he was because I downloaded all the games on his Xbox for him. And... Because he was like, why? And I was like, I had to buy like five different systems just to keep up with the series. Bruh. Yeah, but kids these days yeah. won't know, or the people getting into the series won't know. The... Hell, you'd have to have a flip phone in Japan. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I wanted to no. play it so bad, and then, you know, Recode came out, and then I realized how bad the game is. <laughs> Recode? It's not bad game. I don't game even play. know how you'd play it on a like, Recode it? Oh, no, you're talking about coded Recode. the, the, the yeah, phone no, version. Recode. Recoded is not that good at all. It's it's a its story is so like absolutely. Uh, I mean, I've heard the gameplay is fun, but the story is the not really fun. The gameplay is fine. Very. The gameplay is fine, but it's like just play Birth by Sleep if you're it's, gonna go for a yeah, portable game. Yeah, true. If you're going for a DS game, play Three Five Eight. That's literally a much better game in every possible way. No. I beg to fucking go Oh, 358 over two days. <laughs> you shut your shit. mouth. We're about to have like, a war, bro. Like, here's the thing. No, the game you're not about to have a war. I agree with you right now. <laughs> no, I am right. You you're are about wrong. to have a 358 war. The literally here's kills the thing. that game. At the very least, yeah. at the very least, the fucking, the um, what was it, the command styles, the command styles and all that shit for uh, Recoded actually worked with the button layout for the DS or DSi. Yeah, at the very the 358 least, was awesome. The fucking... Yeah, but here's the thing though, 358 it was more open and you could do a whole bunch of more shit, right? But in order to cycle through the menu, you have to press the X button. And you, okay, and so you had... Good. <laughs> what do you mean it's good? And then no, he said be good. And then your magic is it tied to a fucking? Listen, uh, I'm not MP saying bar. three five eight is perfect. Honestly, it, it, it's aged pretty bad in a lot of areas, but it's. I, I wouldn't say aged, oh, but I would say. Sorry, this is off topic out. real quick, but I wanted to share this with you guys. I got my friend's gift, and it's a uh, a little poster of uh, Persona Five Royal. <clears throat> so, oh, Persona. <laughs> Persona! But, you know, okay, with 358... Yeah. Sorry, I was yeah. just... I, I, I get this fine. Cool. But with 358 over two days, I don't hate the game. I just really hate, like, what Edgar said. I hated the panel system, bro. Like, I really yeah, do. Just, awesome. just, that's really the know, worst thing about too. It's, it's kind of hard to go the back. the mission mode is so. great. Mm. Mission mode is fun. That's literally the greatest fun. Oh, the missions work so well for, like, a, um, a handheld game. Yeah, no, especially yeah, so if the you're... Mission mode. Especially when you brought it to, like, school or something, or, you know, you play with your friends, you do missions together oh, and all that I stuff. Still... You know, yeah, like, man, I want to be The mission-style structure was not good. 
My only issue, the again, I I think it ages poorly in a lot of areas because of the command, uh, whatever. Because it, it was ridiculous. Like I don't even think I still completely one hundred percent understand it. Like as a kid, I would just ask my brother, and he would just tell me what to equip. Yeah, no, bro, you you'd at times be in the same level for who knows how long. They're like, oh, okay, look, here's the new level up panel the thing. Level, yeah. You yeah, forgot to use the fucking level up boxes. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, here's the new level up panel. I'm like, bro, what? Yeah, no, 358. Eh, I have a mix. It's a mixed bag with it. And of course, let's not talk yeah. about Ruler of the Sky. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, boss fight was horrible. Corrupted I don't my game. Shut up. <laughs> You're giving me PTSD right now, bro. <laughs> uh, bro. No, 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 no. Leech Grave. Let's talk about Leech Grave, huh? Which was Leech Grave it's again, uh? It's the one in fucking um, in, uh, Halloween Town. And it's literally a giant coffin with black tendrils coming out of it. Oh, about, and I will say that uh, none of the other fights in the game were nearly as ridiculous as Ruler in the Sky. Yeah, of and course. that's because it was such a slow-paced battle and could just hit you like a truck. It it's was just so Leech annoying. Grave, but Leech Grave specifically for the mission mode. Because I try to fucking get all the little nobody sigils. And fucking hell. To this day, I still don't have them all. Because I forgot. I, I forget what I did with the panel system. Again, going off of like, you know, the panel system was complete ass. It was complete dick. But, uh, what's it called? Uh, I tried it, like, apparently it's very weak to fire, but it has so many bars of health, it's not even funny. Please, right, like, but I, of the that hit me a roadblock when I was a kid and I could not beat the game after, for a long time because of that. I get you. Oh, 358. But uh, let's let's get on a more uh, on a better. And it topic sucks here. what they did with the cutscenes. Oh, oh, what cuts? Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. what cutscenes? That's the why cut I was saying. Three five eight and the newer versions. That's well, why I was saying. Okay, my whole thing with three five eight. Kind of, it kind of sucks for them because three five eight and recoded both games aren't even remastered. It's just cutscenes. Yeah. Well, yeah. my only issue with the uh, cutscene movies idea because three five eight, like a lot of the best moments are with the context of the fights, like the Xion fight. Um. Like that that whole area is amazing, but it falls flat in the cutscene movies because you're not getting the entire context of the battle that you fight. So, bro, the best scene is not even a cutscene, bro. She only go over here going, bro, Roxas, you're fighting with a stick. Yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I stick. am. Is that the Roxas, stick? That's yeah. The stick. Like, yeah. So, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. The other thing that but, uh, yeah, no. irritated me. Um, oh no, go ahead, Dirk. But yeah, no, I I I I am okay with them being cutscenes for me. But I still do recommend a lot of newcomers to at least like if they have access to a DS, then you can pick the game up for like less than twenty dollars from a GameStop or whatever. So it's like it'd be worth it at least like you know putting a little bit of time into it. Definitely gonna be slower than most, but because of those fights, like the the best fights in that game are pretty good. But I was gonna mention yeah. one cutscene that I don't know why it wasn't included in the in the 1.5 was the cutscene where Roxas is leaving the organization and he gets stopped by a Saix and they have a fight. Yeah, yeah that, that wasn't there, was it? That, yeah, it wasn't in there. It wasn't included. I'm like, what? why? That was like the one of the coolest moments to... of him leaving. Yeah, like there was yeah. so many. Oh my god. Yeah, what were you gonna say, Justin? Yeah, it, yeah, that's, that's the thing I'm getting at is it just skipped a lot of things and some of the context just doesn't like it's, it yeah. just doesn't feel the same. Really yeah, does. they just kinda like talk about it in text and it's like oh, okay. <laughs> in like in like two sentences, so it's not even like dramatized, it's just this is what happened. And I was like, Oh okay. At least <laughs> they had the thing with Riku at the end. Yeah, that was epic. Because it's fucking necessary. For that story it's necessary. Yeah, it leads yeah, straight into cage too. Yeah, of course. And yeah, what were you gonna say, Justin? I know you were going to say yeah, something. Yeah, March two. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, what were you gonna say, Justin? I know you were gonna say something beforehand. Oh no, no, I was just gonna, I was just gonna piggyback on the whole thing. Like, ruler of the sky, really bad. Uh, the reason why I was saying uh, this whole thing is because, like, recoded for how shit the story is and how little it advances in general, like. Like, I don't understand how preparing a data version of someone prepares the real-life person 
for the hurt that is coming. Bro, <laughs> they found it on the so journal, bro. What you mean? Don't it's on the journal. It. <laughs> it's on the journal, bro. What Go you up. mean? Do not question the love. <laughs> mastermind. Genius. That was so you, you weird. You cannot question our supreme leader. Bro, if you want a um, good story, though, we play some Birth by Sleep. Bro. Uh, I will say, um, I wanted to add one more thing to that cutscene argument, and I honestly think of a, I thought of a, a great idea that they could do. They could, you know how in Melody of Memory it just showed the fights from the games, yeah. and like in the background for boss fights, they could literally just straight up do that for most of the boss fights. Just show the gameplay of it in like a really nice, like stylish somewhat way like the or just make you overpowered and let you play real quick <laughs> yeah, yeah, make, yeah. <laughs> make you overpowered play for a little fun, bit but you know that, that would involve them actually having to put player agency and they square doesn't like us yeah so. of course yeah you're right you're <laughs> but i think that that would have been a better solution to getting the context of the fights yeah. because like you you need that you need it it's not as good without it yeah. and on the topic of story i still uh me personally i still believe that uh Kingdom Hearts 1 for me is, is my favorite in terms of its story. Like, it's just no. so simple. Oh, it's Kingdom Hearts 2, bro. Simple. Wait, wait. simple. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, Kingdom Hearts Kingdom 2, Hearts 2 I, 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 can, I can understand for Kingdom Hearts 1 because it's just it's just the very basic uh, you're yeah. going after the girl, you need to find your other your friends, uh, shit happens, suddenly you're fighting God, oh no. God! <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 1 is the most consistent when it comes to its plot but i definitely prefer kingdom hearts 2 and 358 when it comes to their story oh, i enjoy two stories because well. they offer they offer a lot more to chew on in terms of philosophy and you know i know that's nerdy to say but i enjoy chewing on that kind of stuff it while i play my games and kingdom hearts 1 though as a as a consistent story being told it is on par with like early disney movies like a lot like yeah, no. aladdin and uh beauty and the beast those kinds of movies like how well it's written it, it's on par with that but no, i definitely if it had a happy it. ending and we never got any games afterwards <laughs> oh you're right that's a gg and the more I mean, literally... if, it, if it was a one and done it would have been cool yeah. but i'm glad they didn't because oh my god <laughs> it would have been horrible bro, i would have ended on a cliffhanger he took a risk and if um turned out that risk turned out to be good it paid off you know and here we are now with the yeah, series. Yeah, that could have been bad, bro. <laughs> it really could have, bro. He really had all this set up, and it could have easily failed, bro. But no, for me, yeah. in terms of story, I still love uh, Kingdom Hearts One story. Like it's just, it's just, oh, yeah, it's simple, no, classic, too. magical. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I agree. Kingdom Hearts One is a great story. Well, it was simple, mainly for the fact that there was there was a lot of mystery. With the with the, yeah. the origins of the Keyblade and like yeah. light and dark and yeah. the, nat the true nature of the heart and shit like that yeah. and now everything's like explained to it all hell. Explained in quotation marks because it's just constantly being <laughs> yeah. explained. Again and I want to say I don't know about you guys, day. but I think my favorite like uh, Kingdom Hearts One has my favorite Hollow Bastion, and it's simply because at the time we didn't know much about mm -hmm. Hollow Bastion. <laughs> I think just the way it is as a whole, it's just yeah. mysterious, I like and it just it. looks great. It, it feels I like, like it this very of... high-stakes, tense area that you're going through. You don't really know what's going on or how far you can go, especially since with all the Disney worlds, there was kind of like a, a setup for how everything went, and now suddenly there's none of that, and you, I... just, you just don't know how far you're going to go with it. I definitely enjoy uh, Hollow Bastion in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 the most, but that's probably just because that's my most nostalgic game of it. But I love just like seeing everyone again and seeing the town that the the world that you literally saved at, in Kingdom Hearts One. Oh yeah, no, no, just, no. Yeah, I agree know. as well. I love. Uh... So I mean, I don't hate Hollow Bastion one because I have a lot of good memories just stomping around in that in that on that world because I used to literally just walk around worlds. And Kingdom Maleficent Kingdom Dragon was a bitch though. <laughs> Maleficent. She's not that bad once oh, you... Shut up. We don't talk about her. <laughs> oh, you just used Tinkerbell, bro. Tinkerbell. Tinker I didn't know shit about those summons when I first played. Bro, I barely Neither used summons. I barely used summons except Tinkerbell. Really, I used like... like I used them all once, and then there I discerned that none of them were any good except for maybe <laughs> Bambi if I was low on MP. Hey, bro, you want to know the, the the best summon, bro? The best summon is in Kingdom Hearts three, and it's Meow Wow because you get to hear Nah. Nah. I mean, nah, nah, it's actually nah. not a bad song, and people need to just stop being cowards. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it, it's I really catchy. It. Also, no, the uh, best song is Chicken Little from Kingdom Hearts 2. Bro, look, Stitch oh, is the Chicken best Little is the man. He's the goat. I also love uh, Genie. Oh, Genie is good too, well. bro. 
For me, one of my favorite summons. Stitch. Stitch is my favorite summon, yeah. Stitch, I like Stitch too. I'm really I happy. It was just everybody's everybody's great, but I just love Chicken Little because when I was younger, I really liked Chicken Little, and when I found out he was in the game, I was so excited. <laughs> I'm really happy that they brought back Stitch for Kingdom Hearts 3 as a summon, so that, that made me happy. I'm like, thank you, bro. Thank you for bringing back Stitch. <laughs> I was so happy I'm to see that. I'm just glad Simba's been in all of them. It just, okay, what was your next know, topic it's... that you were going to talk about, bro? Oh, no, no, no. Like, we'll get to that. We're just talking right now about the okay. series as a whole. Okay, no. I, I just remember you talking about, well, okay, my next topic, and then you just kind of just stopped. Yeah, no, because like, it went quiet for a bit. No, no, we're good, bro. Just continue, bro. Like, remember, that's only if we have, like, nothing else to talk about. So we're, we're going to talk for a while. I get you. We're we're really like spitballing here, like things. Yeah, you should have given me a more of a better layout before I joined. Yeah, should we just talk about Kingdom Hearts? That's about it. Just talk about Kingdom Hearts. That's about it. That's the layout. Talk Yo, about Kingdom Hearts. Guys, guys, guys. So, have you uh, been interested at all in the combat at Kingdom Hearts Two? Bro, the combat like, in Kingdom I mean, Hearts Two is horrible. What so, you mean, bro? No. You guys better be fellow <laughs> Mitch Two FM elitists. <laughs> I mean, cause the whole like it's it's great combat. Don't get me wrong, it's very great combat. I don't know, like I like the direction that uh recode not recoded, what the fuck, uh remind is going with engaged. <laughs> I, yeah, I was gonna I say, like uh I'm gonna be snapped, combat but remind after... is better in my opinion. <laughs> remind with its added um mobility is really good, but uh, I I still prefer Kingdom Hearts too just because it it's just so stupidly broken, for me but like I'm it's so good for me I want to say like, no go ahead remind no well remind definitely like vanilla Kingdom Hearts 3 which came out when it was at launch that game was an absolute mess I loved its story of course but it, its gameplay was like a complete mess there was almost nothing to do after the game and it was just boring uh, well, and well, that kind of sucked I will say the end of Kingdom Hearts 3 was just like the end of Kingdom Hearts 2, where there wasn't really that much you could do in the OG Kingdom Hearts yeah, 2. Yeah, I know. I will I know, say this. It's sad that a game from like oh, like 13 years ago has more replay value. Because I will say, yeah, I want to mention this. OG Obviously, Kingdom Hearts 2, it's a classic, right? But the thing is that the gameplay, after you play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, you don't want to go back to regular vanilla no, Kingdom Hearts 2. I, I completely understand. Like, cause like, I, oh I my god, there was no dodge it. rolling. It was like, bro. <laughs> like, you I went back to it and was like, what the heck? What the I heck? I didn't even you remember there was no dodge roll. Yeah, cause no, remember no, it was uh, locked to limit form. Yeah. yeah, but um, what I'm gonna um say though is that Remind like completely revamped and like that update that came out before Remind released, um, that they literally just gave him a whole new kit like to work with and. When you see his combat, it's like, like it actually feels like a, a genuine, balanced effort of, um, this is everything Sora's learned so far. And it really does feel like, hey, I'm using all of my abilities here. And seeing some of the fights, um, and the data org fights are like super stylish, dude. Like giving me Devil May Cry vibes there. Like so nice to watch. Oh my gosh. Funny. Hey, funny you bring up all that because like I've been over the past like couple of months I've been watching a lot of uh, what's this guy's name Bloody Biscuit. Oh yeah, uh, good, like yeah. try to. to that try guy got to, me like, into the combat. Yeah, yeah, and like uh, even he says that like KH2's combat it's good for how much skill expression there is, like in the yeah. Cry for instance. But uh, the only thing that sucks about it is that. Situation commands in Kingdom Hearts 3 have an originator, and it's for sure, for sure, pressing triangle in KH2. You cannot deny that this was a precursor to that. No, and it's yeah. so press fucking to stupid <laughs> to just press yeah. triangle to win. Unless you're playing fights. on harder difficulty, yeah. it really <laughs> is press triangle. triangle to win. No, even, even with the harder difficulties, because doing the organization fights, right? Like, I'll give you an example, Marluxia, right? Mm -hmm. So, you Ooh. wait... You do your damage. You uh, you press the quick time, right? Right. You uh, you take his scythe. You throw it back at him. You can damage. Mm -hmm. Like, like you go from there. And then another example would be like Axel, for instance, because you know it's the same shit as uh, Roxas' fight. But uh, you know you you uh, you hit him through. You do the follow up, and then uh, you hit him down on the fire on the fire ground so that uh, it uh, 
dissipates the fire on the ground. So it's like, okay, uh, that's another one. It's just like, I don't know. Kingdom Hearts 3's combat is too random. Too random for its own good. I can feel that. Again, there is a little bit of a nostalgia factor for it, of course, and like I'm not going to pretend like that's a bad thing, but I am going to say that I still genuinely prefer it to Kingdom Hearts 3. That might just be because I'm playing Kingdom Hearts 3 on a base PS4 and it, its frame rate is all over the place. Um, but like, because, you know, against my Kingdom Hearts 2 FM uh, on uh, PS4, that's at 60 FPS all the time. Um, and it, it's absolutely gorgeous to play, and it feels so nice. But then 3, of course, because of its new uh, engine, is a lot to run. And I don't know, they, they could have done a lot better with the frame rate. <laughs> I don't know if you were here when I was uh, when I was uh, showcasing Kingdom Hearts 3 on my PS5. But I was showing yeah, it you to were. Jacob. I think, I think I was. I think I was. We were talking about it, at least. Literally 60 FPS. Yeah, I know. 60 incredible. FPS. No, no drops, nothing. It literally plays buttery yeah. smooth. I'm sure once I get a so PS5, nice. I'm yeah, gonna. The only I'm thing that re- drops it. on PS5 is that thunder. Was it thun, Thundaza? No, not even. Not even. It I'm sure once I get my. Uh, no, I'm, I'm saying I saw because I saw a video of some dude doing it. Uh, in that when the shadows spawn forever at the end of the towards the end of the game when you're in Olympus. And he did oh, that. Oh, I know um, what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. What you're talking about. Um, yeah, like, that's the only thing that drops it. It's like a very specific hit the yeah, situation. I'm, I'm sure once I get a PS5 and revisit Kingdom Hearts 3, it's going to change my entire outlook. But, like, playing it on a base PS4 with the fan just going. <sighs> <laughs> and then like, yeah, it's like it's dropping constantly. Uh, bro, the plane's it's taking just, off. Yeah, like it's not it, like it's no fun. Like I hate doing that. Like at least like I, I okay. This is one of the only things The Last of Us 2 has over Kingdom Hearts and it's a consistent frame rate and it at least is 30 FPS the entire time and then you have the fa- fan but it doesn't really bother me because the frames don't drop. But Kingdom Hearts, it, it's it's so obviously showing whenever you're playing the game and it's running smooth one second, and then you're just like using a bunch of like crowd control uh, abilities and then just completely just annihilates your frames. It's not fun. Yeah, but I think a better comparison instead of Last Source would be like the MC5. Because the yeah, MC5 okay. would I mean, be like 30 FPS on, uh, on base, right? On base of the MC5. But when you play Special Edition, and let me tell you, Special Edition, oh boy, when you're wait. playing, uh, not making me jealous, oh bro. Oh man, <laughs> let me, let me, let me tell you, when I was playing as Virgil, and I was playing on Turbo mode, bro, that shit felt like 120 FPS. It yeah. felt like 120 well, if FPS. Well, if you're Turbo playing mode, in, uh, without uh, ray tracing, you can play at 120 FPS. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, like my whole thing, but I mean, beautiful. even still, um, I I use Last of Us 2 just because that's what, what I've been playing non-stop, and that's like a very heavy game to run. Yeah, I guess so. Right. That, that's why I brought that up. It's not even necessarily because they're like similar games. It's just that that game stays consistent in its frames, and it's still a lot to run, like Kingdom Hearts 3. But I feel like Kingdom Hearts 3 just needs to like, like it'll be so much better once I get to PS5. And because I love the remind stuff that I've seen, um, or that I played, like it's amazing stuff. But it's just, it just hurts to play constantly because I I hate frame drops. That's the worst part of games. Like uh, I'd prefer a game that that looks like it came from 2006, and it runs like, like the what. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I thought my dog was peeing on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was I Perito. saying? Perito. Um, Dude, he lost his I, train I, of thought. I want, like, yeah, no, it's just, it's raining here, so. Um, but I, what I'm trying to get at is that I'd rather have a game that looks like Kingdom Hearts 2, because it still looks gorgeous, and it runs at full 60. I and mean, the melody 3. of memory, though. No, Dude. Oh my God. All right, I actually do have Did something that I want to frame mention. Drops? No, no, like, I do have something I want to mention, and it's, uh, uh, I, I guess you could say the first topic, I guess you could say, I was going to discuss is, um, the story of this whole series. 
Oh, uh, <laughs> we're gonna be here forever. What yeah, we're gonna no. Okay, so basically, I made a segment. Where we're just gonna talk about the story. We're gonna we're gonna bring the whole story. With this whole yeah. podcast just talk about the story. No, I'm kidding. Uh, just one thing, real quick, because I wasn't playing Melody of Memory on PS4, and I know there was definitely frame drops on Switch. Um, is there any frame drops on PS4? At least I had no issues whatsoever. Nothing that I really felt. Any. Okay, good, because that's gonna be very dangerous for a rhythm game. Yeah, no, no, don't worry, there's none of that, at least from what okay, I've played. Good. On but you know, on good. the topic of the story, I was it's not about talking about what you guys think of the story of the series, because, like, I and mean, we break down stuff, no, 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 nothing of that. But, uh, what are your thoughts on the fact that we have to keep up with, uh, Union Cross uh, for, like, the future of the series? Well, that's one thing I don't like. Okay. <laughs> I like the idea of having a game that's kind of just an encompassing of just a adding new ideas to the game series, but the fact that it's a shitty mobile game, that pisses me off. You know, like, like I honestly, I'd prefer it if it was just like some anime that they were releasing, and that would introduce new concepts, because then I could just sit and watch it. But well, wait but, a minute, Disney and, Plus is making a Kingdom Hearts show. Yeah, so it is. Oh my god. That's probably going to be canon because Nomura doesn't want to stop making I've, people I have, accepted, I have accepted that there is no such thing as spin offs. We could get Kingdom bro, Hearts. Bro, bro, V Cast, though. <laughs> the only thing, yeah, the only thing yeah, that's not canon is V Cast, dude. Bro, VCast is the canon game. Is. Bro, VCast is not, like, that's the only non canon Kingdom Hearts no, game. Also, the original coded, recoded. Oh, yeah. No. It is sort of canon because the. The events that take place in it are in recoded. No, yeah, true, true. So. No, I know, but what I'm saying is that it, in that version of the game, I can't. Oh yeah, for sure. I gotcha. mean, it's the same story, isn't it? It's essentially the same. Dude, I mean, it's, it's I guess you can say with the original with, uh, Cross, Kingdom uh, Kingdom Hearts Cross, the like Kingdom Hearts Key, because now it's like everything's in yeah. Union Cross. Yeah, no, I, I I like the idea of having something to like aside from it to watch or play, um, but the issue is that the game is so many hours of grinding to get like five minutes of story or pay to win and all uh, stuff you know like or you want to do all the other stuff we're not yo, gonna talk Jacob, about that how many uh how many missions did we do in agraba I have... oh my god i don't want to talk about hey, that i already had ptsd before we got to the bro i we i have literally become <laughs> anakin skywalker i'm like i hate sand i just hate it man those were the, like the worst world, oh, not like consistently, but it was always annoying to go through. It was always aggravating in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, that no wonder Wonderland or I never I hate yeah, Wonderland. Wonderland that's that's that cool. my my least favorite world. Period is Wonderland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wonderland sucks, dude. But Agrabah is just always annoying. Every single time they bring it back, it's like, I enjoy it a little bit in Kingdom Hearts 1 because I like the whole puzzle solving it's element of it. Thing I hate but like, everything else is just stupid and it's just a skin and it's never fun like ever yeah really I, every time i get to wonderland like i'll start replaying kingdom Hearts one i'll get to wonderland and i'll be like i'll come back to it later and then i end up not coming back to it again i'm just i'm just glad i can pretty much skip the world by not having to find evidence and then just figuring out how to get to the upside down area because i can never remember how to navigate the fucking world I and get the you. boss fight's annoying like it's not fun at all uh, I get you. I get what you mean, though. Well, the Trick Master, you mean, or is it... Trick Master? I, I guess. I think the Trick Master was pretty. I, I didn't mind the Trick Master. I, the only time I have a problem with him is in uh, what's it called in Chain of Memories? Oh, uh, well, specifically on Riku's route because they, for some odd reason, they give you one of the worst fucking decks in that world with Riku. Speaking <laughs> of Chain of Memories, I had no idea that shit was a game, and then I played two, and I was so confused <laughs> that I missed all that in one. No. I knew it existed, but I would just ask my brother, be like, "Hey, what happened there?" And I didn't play it till I was older. I only I think memories works better as a G uh, a Game Boy game. Yeah. Because someone re <laughs> rechain of memories sucks, and I hate someone it. eventually told me they were playing Kingdom Hearts like in an, in after school, and I'm like, "How are you playing Kingdom Hearts? That's a Game Boy." And like, "Yeah, there's a Game Boy game." What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the game Boy game. Yeah, no, I love cards. I love the Game Boy version just because <laughs> I like the sprites, and I'm like, I wish we had more pixel art Kingdom Hearts games. Like man, yeah. I'm just I'm just mad yeah. I missed the whole game and I didn't even fucking know about it. Yeah, bro, I, I didn't yeah. beat it. I had it, but I never beat it. Like I knew who Axel yeah. was. I was like, oh wait, it's that guy from the Game Boy game. But I'm like, <laughs> I didn't get to the part where I got to see Nomine and all this. I'm like, who's Nomine? The whole, the whole beginning of Kingdom Nomine. Hearts 2, I was lost. Yeah, I was like, why really? is Sora sleeping? Is that my game? <laughs> you and and like 80% of the fan base. 
<laughs> yeah, most people didn't play it until like the HD collection. Yeah, I don't. Think... I was thankful to play Reach, uh, Rechain of Memories. And, and everyone, everyone calls the uh, Rechain like combat terrible. And what I find terrible about Rechain is the card for maps, not the cards for for fighting. Yeah. yeah. Fun. I also, Re Rechain just it looks ugly because it's literally just like half of a map. Like you'll just have a bunch of black space, and you'll just see the skybox and it's just it, it feels gross to play like it'd be okay. interesting if that was the point but it just i don't know i that was the only kingdom hearts game that i'd play and it freaked me out because it felt so empty it's one of the only it's kingdom hearts games that i play castle. yeah bro so <laughs> that's the only like, kingdom hearts game where i literally started like yawning i was i would literally be like oh, I want to it honestly freaked me out a little bit because i'd always think yeah. wait I've seen all these areas in Kingdom Hearts 1, but it looks gross now. When the pixel art, at least, like, you know, the camera was away from those areas, and it was just set on the pixel. So, mm -hmm. the, the art, it worked better for that art style, but then they used Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2's art style for rechain. It just looks like crap. Really? I'll admit, I'll admit, though, like, I knew about Chain of Memories. I was fortunate enough to, like, go to my nearest, like, GameStop, and I ended up got, getting that shit. So I have the cartridge to this day. Yeah. I played through I, it. I need to buy I, it. I never played the Reverse Rebirth until HD. I never knew about it until HD. <laughs> oh Honestly, my god, yeah, same. I would have Chain of Memories to have been a, a cutscene movie, and then on an HD, and then 358 be a full game. I would have much preferred that, and also, because... Let me see. Uh, I was gonna say if there's one, one thing I did enjoy of Rechain Memories was crazy. the story. I did enjoy the story of Rechain. And also... oh, oh yeah, Rechain's um, cutscenes were amazingly done. Let's just not <clears> talk about the best cutscenes uh, in the game Sora's in the series. Bro, they how, uh, draws, And but here's the thing though: during that whole spiel, Disney or Square Enix in this case was uh were, was telling him, "Hey, bro, you, you're gonna have to." You're gonna have to try to your best to like sound squeaky as fuck, but like they gave <laughs> Sora, they gave Sora such a deep voice in that game in particular because any other subsequent game that has a KH1 Sora's model, like say for instance Dream Drop or anything like that, it's not as bad as Rechain. It is not. Yeah, as bad. I hate that. No, I like the. I mean, I like the way they're choreographed. That that whole that whole voice is just it throws me off. It really does. Same in Dream hear, Drop, yeah. You hear uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora, right? And he sounds so high-pitched. And then you play Rechain, and it's like, what the fuck happened you know, He sounds deeper than he than what he does. He sounds deeper than what he does in 2, bro. <laughs> That's the crazy yeah, thing. Like, it, it makes sense when you hear it deeper when in 2, because, like, the, like, the, uh, the voice, like, he, the body looks older. But you get this character older. that literally looks like how he did in Kingdom Hearts 1, like, to a T, and then you hear him go, Hey guys! <laughs> it's like Donald Goofy. Right. It's like whoa, 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 whoa. Donald Goofy. Oh, I have Donald become Goofy. addicted to heroin. <laughs> oh my god. The bro. And it makes and his voice now, uh, Haley's voice now makes a lot more sense for three. It really does. Yeah. I like Wait, it. Uh, I, I think he's a good voice actor. No, he is. He for sure, for sure is. Yeah. It's just I don't know what happened with the voice direction. They probably rushed it to be honest. Maybe he, he's probably, he was probably just hurting his voice or something. Dude. Probably. Probably. But, but but let me let me ask you something. How do you guys feel about all the important characters being uh thrown in the past, bro? I'm just saying, bro, like 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 Larxene, Mart Lucia, Demix, Luxer, all from the past. I mean Wait, there what? had to have been a reason as to... Then why is uh, the mean, other four organizations what, that we don't know? This is key. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. There has to have been a I reason as to me. all these characters, you know, being a part of Organization Everybody. 13 and what their big whole spiel is. Everybody say hi to yeah. my dog, Sadie. Hello, doggo. How are you doing? Hello. hello. <laughs> she's doing good. She's a butthead and she's so annoying. Good girl. But I love her. But, uh, yeah, no, it's like... Like the amount of stuff that you're gonna have to watch in Union and Union Cross and all that stuff is like crazy. Like I mean, we know now we know about Ericus's uh ancestor. Uh, we have cool. Ventus coming. There's so much 
garbage to watch yeah, no. just to get to the stuff that actually matters. No, I don't blame you. I don't know. And speaking of that, everyone was like, yo, Terra's the oldest between Ventus and Aqua, and Ventus is the youngest. Well, you know what? Psych! Exactly. Ventus you is know the what? oldest. Shut up. Ventus is the oldest. And he's a murderer. He's a murderer. Old at this point, isn't he? Huh? Isn't he like hundreds of years old? Yeah, he's like, dude, yeah. we don't even know. He's, he's old, old, bro. <laughs> It's uh, like, dude, what the heck? And what right? I mean, the Keyblade he wore was like supposedly like a hundred years ago or something like that. Yeah, and, and then of course the possibility that Scold yeah, is totally alive, uh, but she was like friends with Lee and and Izo when she was in the jail cell <laughs> when they were like working for uh, Xehanort and all that stuff. It's like, bro. I still don't know. I still don't know what that has to do with Kyrie being captured. I'm, I'm a little rusty on that. Oh uh, well, the thing with Kyrie being captured is that like Xehanort knew about the whole world line stuff. I'm assuming he learned that from if, which is Gold, which you know I'm pretty sure. That's again, that's just me thinking, theorizing, because you know we know that Gold comes from you know Union Cross that was, times. That was referred to in uh, Melody and Memory, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's where you see her that she's yeah, captured. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that that thing, I, sorry, it's one. been a while since I've like been full on into the lore of the games. Yeah, the, <laughs> when you when you get deep into it, there's a lot of shit that I don't I don't get. Yeah, it's I, just getting weird. Honestly, it's not even that the games can the story's confusing. It's literally that there's just there's so just much, so much crap to remember. Yeah, but let me tell you, fucking, he knows about the world lines and shit like that from the Master of Masters from that little conversation that yeah. uh, Young Xehanort and uh, Mom had. Yeah. Right? and I'm pretty sure he might have and, studied a little uh, bit of a uh, Scold, maybe. You know what I mean? Because remember, he, he was asking for where Scold oh, yeah, was, and well, Ansem specifically, remember? Yeah. So it's possible that... That's how, uh, you know, Darkness taking over the world, and then he was like, Oh, Princess of Heart, right here. And <laughs> then like, who's the star? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the girl that uh, is connected to Yazora, that we see in, uh... Let, let's just call her Stella, because let's Stella. be real, <laughs> that's literally, uh, this girl from Versus 13. Versus... <laughs> Don't you mean Luna Freya? Like, no, no, still. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about- Bro, what's a Noctis, bro? Yozora? Yozora? Night in Sky? In Latin? No, the, then... the sweet life of Zack and Cody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, the sweet life of, uh, of Quadrato. <laughs> no, my Cole god. Cole plays Yozora, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. no, no, Dylan. Wait, no, it's Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Dylan? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Zack, yeah. Dylan, the meme guy, I forgot. I was trying to remember if it was the meme guy or Cole. And <laughs> yeah, no, Dylan's on it. Bro, I'm just very curious because the Master of Masters is going to be the main antagonist, bro. I am ready for Ray Chase to play an antagonist, bro. I am so ready, man. I'm, I'm just ready to hear Ray Chase's sexy voice again. Ray Chase is great. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I got to meet him. But I didn't get his signature because he F. was the one that I had to leave early, but I was able to get uh, Robbie Damon and Max Middleman, so... F. <laughs> And I'm really excited to see Ray Chase uh, play a villain. I mean, the last time I heard him as a villain was when he played Fernand in uh, Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. Uh, oh, no, and uh, uh, Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valentia. I know. Oh, I was about to say. And I, I, forgot, Von I forgot who he played. Uh, which one did he play uh, in Near Automata? I forgot if it was Adam or Eve. Steve. Steve! <laughs> uh, <I for> <laughs> Alex. I forgot i think it might have been adam i could be wrong because evil's a lot like justin in uh if you remember in near automata it was uh evil's was the final it adam? was it i think so because i because it was one of them was ray chase and the other one was greg chun i know that much i forgot which one uh ray chase played i think ray chase played adam i could be wrong and you know i could be wrong regardless of the case he does a good villain wait what i'll do a quick little searchy search oh i do search search okay all right so he's eve <laughs> is Eve? Yeah, I'm surprised it's Cassandra Eve. Lee okay. Morris hasn't ma made it into, uh, fine, into Kingdom Hearts at all. Hey, bro, look, I'm pretty sure she'll end up being in the game at some point as well. Yeah, she'll be one of the cast of characters from uh, uh, Viram Rex. I don't know, why is he muted? They have a man with a hat. Why is he muted? Because he's muted. Idea, but don't worry. Oh. Um, for sure, for sure, like... Um... A lot of people have been slinging around theories about how uh, how Master of Masters is gonna be a uh, a grown up Sora. Dude, I hope what that about? is not true because what that's like one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. Right? But if Nomura confirms it, I'll still eat it up. <laughs> if it ends up being Sora and like we end up finding out that 
the the eye that's on everything on <laughs> on the ancient Keyblade just that happens to be Sora's eye, and then it would really uh, go full circle with uh, everyone is Sora type of rhetoric. Oh my god! I, I really hope we get away it from would, that. It would next really go. be everyone is Sora because for right now it's everyone is Sora, and who isn't is Xehanort. Listen, That's how it was. Uh, I really want this point. to be a completely new start. I don't want to see any more connections to Sora. I just sure want there. Will. I want to see new characters that are completely original. I want to know as what happened to Scold. I mean, my bad. Not well, yeah, Scold, but uh, Ephemer. Like, bro, that was like yeah. when he helped him out there. And I'm like, where's he at? You know what I mean? He just poofed, and there he is in Kingdom Hearts three. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep, it's like, oh, okay, a flashback. Well, we don't even know if it's a flashback. At and this then point, you used Chris like... to kill Zayn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dude, like... I love. I okay. Kingdom Hearts story. The Kingdom Hearts story is an absolute ridiculous mess, but that's why it's so amazing. That's why I love it. That's where his charm comes for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's I love so the story. dumb, but at the same time, it, it it's like a Kojima game where the story it's so dumb that it's like the most genius story ever. Okay, like, but like, who's your uh, favorite girl though? Yeah, but also Mickey closing down the fucking... I don't even remember what the fuck he was doing. He just took him on by himself, walked, and he could barely walk. Bro, oh I my god, imagine. that was a like that, bro. That's in a remind, right? Yeah, that's in a remind. Yeah, and then was... everyone versus oh, the dark court. Bro, I could have... Oh, uh, man. Uh, I could have imagined Tetsuya Nomura storyboarding for uh, 0.2 and being like, We have to explain why Mickey has no shirt. <laughs> All right. Know, I'm like, he bruh. has his OG outfit in Kingdom Hearts One. We can't just have him with with his outfit now, okay? <laughs> so we have to get rid of it somehow. Dude, <laughs> Nomura is a gets ridiculous man. And... Like he's, <laughs> he throws he's crazy, bro. continuity out of the window until he realizes, oh wait, let's give continuity, and then <laughs> just it's it's so like, dumb. He but knows I love that she's it. in there, but also Mickey. He needs to not wear a shirt. What's more important? <laughs> oh my god. Like, it's so funny because, like, I I have seen Nomura in person, albeit, like... Wait, what? I, I went to the orchestra. Mm -hmm. and Oh my, was, you've been in the presence of the madman himself. This was in 2018, so I saw... I saw... Um, I saw Nomura-san and, uh... And, uh... I... I, uh... Composer for most of the music. Oh, Yoko Shimomura. Yoko Shimomura. You don't remember she... Yoko Shimomura? I, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. Wow, for a moment. bro. I forgot the name for a it, was why, why it was on the tip of my tongue. She was playing. I she was playing not. a medley of um of uh the Toy Story uh the Toy Story uh, theme. So it was hey. really nice. But I got to see that man on stage, bro. He's just standing there. Menacingly, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like he, it's that photo. It's that photo that's a meme where it's like, oh, Nobora is very man. silent, but very powerful. <laughs> very silent, but powerful. He's about like five foot eight, five foot seven, bro. Is he really that tall? Uh, I would that... imagine. Him, I the way I see him, I imagine him to be like five foot. Nah, he's not nah, that short. He's, he's like, he's like, like I just imagine him to be like super tiny. He's but like, slightly taller than me. But like, I see, I see him and shit, and then I'm like, you know, this is the man that created the series I love, and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I, this is this is crazy. It, like, all of this, all on uh, this man and a couple of other writers. Like, it's just. <laughs> I I've never I don't think I've met any creators yet. It's all because but I have, have met to get into an elevator at the right time. But I have met uh, a lot of voice actors and other actors. Yeah. I, I mean, and I technically um, met Ira's voice actor, you know, Matt Mercer, before he was Ira. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh you two, you two with me? You were with me. Yeah. Unicorn <laughs> man, hello. You, you know, um, you know though, the one person I want to meet other than Tetsuya Nomura, I want to meet sorry, Kojima. And I want to ask him to hug me. <laughs> because I love Kojima. I mean, in terms of, like, Kingdom Hearts stuff, the, in terms of people we met, I mean, I met a content creator, you know, HMK. Yeah, shut up. Yeah. I mean, well, Why didn't you ask him to be on the be one of the key keepers? <laughs> Can I be a Bruh. key keeper? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no. <laughs> he just mm. goes, no. I got another topic I'm going to talk about. But before we do, um, what were your thoughts on, like, like as a whole, the story, like, 
that's the, like final thoughts on the story. Like, what do you guys think of how the story is going so far? What do you think? Um, I I'm excited. Like, it feels new. Like for the first time and since the the series conception, it feels entirely new. Like I don't know what to expect, and I like that. Look, I'm just sitting here on Nomura's crazy wild ride, and I don't want to get off anytime yeah. soon. I get you, bro. Yeah, I, I was just, thinking. Take me where you want to go, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Nomura. Like he has created one hell of an experience, and yeah. it's just it's great. Uh, there's recoded, but it's great. <laughs> yeah, recode it. But like, I was thinking. I, I'm, I'm excited. For legal purposes, recode. that's a joke. Because I was thinking I might not play the series anymore. I was thinking maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 probably be the final game in the series. Who knows? And then it's like, yo, psych! I'm grabbing you by the balls. No, I Come knew back it here. wasn't going to be because they said it's like and the announcement of it that this is not the end of the Kingdom Hearts games. It's just the end of of the Harry North Saga. Wasn't it? Was it called like the Lightkeeper or something like it's that? It's called the Dark Seeker. Dark Seeker Saga. saga. Dark Seeker. Now that's the official canon name, but it was called the Xehanort Saga for so long, that's what I still call it. That's fine. I mean, it's another name for it. Yeah. yeah. I made a motto. I just don't want to see, look, I'm really, there's one thing I wanted to story. I do not want to see Xehanort ever again. Flashback, yeah, yes, yeah, but I don't want please, to not, like, I do not want to fight please. him again. Yeah, like, no, I don't. The melody we, of memory was well, we thought we were fun. done. We thought we were done, and then there's Melody of Memory. <laughs> well, no, Melody of Memory least, was at least yeah. different because it was a memory of him. We, mm, yeah, yes. so I'll, t I'll take that, but that's about it. Other than that, I don't want to see him again. You know, I don't want to actually see him. Oh, uh, uh, I'm alive. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't oh, want no, him yeah, to be a villain like or even a character right now because I just I want them to move on completely. Oh, I don't well, know why it's so hard for Dominion them. My ass. <laughs> Dark Dominion. Oh my Bruh. god. I, it, it took me three tries to do it, but the first time I just Wait, I stopped. What? No, he's talking about Dark Dominion, the the final song in uh, Melody of Memory. Oh, you, the, the that, okay. I was about to say that it was that it didn't take me that long, but then I remembered. I think I played it on beginner. Yeah, I played it on proud. It took me three tries, but literally that first time I had to stop because I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Yeah, I only played beginner on Melody of Memory because I was still fairly new to rhythm games and I kind of really sucked at keeping rhythm. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna use it to learn the mechanics. Um, if I when I go back to it, I'm definitely playing on proud. I get you. I mean, I feel like the game's kind of easy for beginner, but I understand. It's a rhythm game at the end of the day. I know. I, I've always had a big issue with keeping rhythm. No, I understand. Even though you play Osu, which oh, is I do way now. That, was, that wasn't a. This was. I played. I should have played Osu after I beat No Memory. Yep. Oh, okay. But so. that shit. That like that game. The only really problem I have with it is I feel like the songs are too short. Yeah, I there's a lot of yeah. moments where I'm like, why isn't this continuing? Sometimes it's like I, a minute. Sometimes I liked how short some of them were, but others I'm And I say this, but then you play the memory dive for like the any of the openings yeah. and I wanna die. <laughs> That's how long it is. <laughs> yeah, it's so long and like the memory dives are not really nearly. Melody as memory had some weird stuff. Happen. Like for example, I said yeah. this in my uh my Kingdom Hearts Melody Memory video, which you should watch if you haven't. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> um <laughs> shit like Yeah bro Guys, but, don't watch his videos, just go play Metal Gear Solid. Alright, you know so. what bro? What irritates what me is, <laughs> what irritates me is that there is nothing related to Pirates of the Caribbean in Melody of yeah. Memory. Like, bro, can you imagine yeah. he's a pirate? That would have worked so well. <laughs> yeah, like it, it just. Like yeah, and then of course, you know, like I mentioned. We're not doing acapella. Yeah, but like of course, like I mentioned as well in that video, um, that there was no Tron or Jack Skeleton as a partner in their respective like music tracks and all that stuff it was like i was so pissed about that i was like i want to be with jack skellington also i don't even think you were in your norm in your halloween costume were you no you no, weren't in you're your always you're always in the regular outfit yeah, yeah. it was just it was annoying because i'm like i want to see hot topic sora <laughs> yeah, I you don't even you don't even sora. get like dolphin sora when what? you're in atlantis what oh wait they had that there right no no they did. Oh, not even. No. Yeah. It's been a no, while no. since yeah, I played. I played no, it the weekend. There's no changes or anything. It's just a regular, regular Kingdom Hearts One Sora, Donald and Goofy, and then if you play as any other, you know, any of the other guys, then you just play as them. Yeah. All right. So this is what I want to also mention as well, since we talked a lot about the story and the gameplay, we haven't really talked much about uh, Disney Worlds. Uh, I want to ask you guys, what are some of your favorite Disney Worlds? And Lion King. 
<laughs> you didn't even let me finish. <laughs> I and, like Lion King, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. And the other question um, was, uh, what other Disney World would you like to see in the series? So... Treasure Planet! Like treasure Planet! <laughs> treasure Planet! Now! Treasure Planet! Now! Bro, I'm in the now. same boat as you, bro. Listen, guys, shut up for a second. You know what we need to have a world of? It's not a Disney movie. It's a TV show. Oh, really? We need a Phineas and Ferb world. <laughs> no, shut the fuck up, bro. The... Yes, bro, well, I definitely like, need, that'd I definitely so need Dr. Doofenshmirtz over here being the villain of the fucking world, <laughs> being corrupted by darkness, and no, no. being like, Listen, I'm going to infect with Heartless all of the time in this area. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, thing, the thing is that Doofenshmirtz wouldn't work as a villain because he's yeah, not he's a just, regular villain. He's just a villain. goofy guy, you know? He's a good guy. You like they were trying to... Him, and then you would just like... Bro, he wouldn't because understand. Because he's trying to get back bro, in some way, shape, or form. Bro, he, remember, remember what he... Bro, he's also dumb. Like, remember that um that scene? A platypus? Petty the platypus plumber? <gasps> Patty the platypus! <laughs> you say one scene, but it happens in every fucking episode. I know, right? <laughs> true, true. No. It would... It would be really funny having like one of the villains uh, explaining the plot to him, and he's just like, oh, "I'm sorry. Can you go? Can you go back? <laughs> what does that mean? What, Can what you please go back? Repeat what you just said. Space <laughs> and fighting, fighting evil. Yeah, I, I don't what know. Do I feel like, like it'd be really. I, I think it'd just be a really fun thing because I really like Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> we still got more, more IPs like fucking uh, the Emperor's New Groove. Star Wars. <laughs> well, and... Star Wars would be interesting. Star Wars, I think, <laughs> would be cool just was, because we could have the Clone look, Wars I'm, I'm style. But I just, would I just be want to keep that as a lightsaber. Look, if any, look, look Derek, at the top of what you said of Star Wars, they're gonna make sure they put the sequel trilogy in that bitch, right? I'm just saying. Shut up! <laughs> Get out of here! But uh, I was on the boat where I don't, I would, I wouldn't have minded <clears throat> Star Wars and Marvel and Kingdom Hearts three, but I would have preferred if it wasn't. And I'm kind of happy that I mean, they did. We did get Marvel and Kingdom Hearts okay. three. Now here's my okay, thing. Okay, you know what I mean. I would though. like to see Star Wars only if they use the art style of the Clone Wars. If they didn't use that style, I don't want a, a Star Wars world because I don't want it to be super realistic. Same thing with Marvel. They're gonna go for the MCU look. If they do look realistic, the closest thing we'll get is like Pirates of the Caribbean and Kingdom Hearts three. That's yeah. why. That's I, the most I, realistic. I don't I think they'll do it like that. We probably won't see Marvel, but Star Wars seems a little more likely. I mean, the Marvel, they could go with a comics, uh, look. Yeah. Well, Maybe, yeah. I doubt they they're could. going to, because it's Disney. They yeah, want to go with Disney. Disney owns it, so it's like, yeah, Disney owns it, and people love it. they Marvel. only want to do the MCU stuff, because that's what makes them money. Yeah, true, true. I get you. Also, like, unrelated to Star Wars or Marvel, what are, like, some, like, Pixar worlds you'd like to see again? Like, uh, well, Pixar to see it all. Worlds. Up would be cool. Yo, Princess and the Frog? Wait, I that's not even- wait, that, wait, is that even- that's not Pixar? Uh, please do not make me play as a frog the whole world. <laughs> no, it's not Pixar, but like, I'm saying, Ayo, bro. <laughs> what an incredible but, uh, world. Yo, hmm. Inside Out, though? I was gonna mention- wait, wait I was gonna mention inside what Derek out said. Inside Out is a good one. Because, uh, you guys- Incredible. Yeah, the Incredible. That yeah. would be the closest oh, yeah, I want yeah. to a Marvel world. Yeah. Because yeah. that one's superheroes, and it would be stylistic well, they gotta give Sora it would powers. Mmm. No, he would have to have his own super suit. Yo, wait a minute! He has to have his own super suit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to revisit <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> what? Which one? Yeah. Mm. Toy Story. I want to revisit Toy Story as a world because I feel like there's still so like much that they can do with it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Emperor Zurg as a villain. That would have been awesome to oh, fight yeah. Emperor Zurg. In terms of Disney worlds, the uh, in Kingdom Hearts three, the Pixar worlds genuinely had the best story on in the plant in the actual world. You remember eating like, Vanitas through fifty it. doors? Mm -hmm. What? You remember eating Vanitas through fifty doors? <laughs> Bro, yeah, that was the best. Oh Monsters God. Inc. was the best world in Kingdom Hearts three. That is Monsters okay, Inc. was great. I loved it. Disney the only world. thing I was kind of irritated about Disney is I wanted to fight Randall. Games. I wanted to fight Randall. That's one thing I did want to yeah, do. Yeah, I love the Monsters, Inc. world because it felt like this thrilling adventure. It was so fun, and it was so cool to see. I mean, obviously, because it was on Burst and Birth by Sleep, I have, like, a huge uh, mm -hmm. bias toward it because I just, I love Birth by Sleep. Bro, let me, let me tell you, because you were talking about a Toy Story earlier. Um, why don't we get a world based off of uh, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command? Since we were yeah, that would be interesting. Well. That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Yeah, Since I mean, we already have like the video game. They could play with the idea right? that it's not the same Buzz yeah. Lightyear. And also, I did want to say yeah, like, one more then, thing yeah. about Toy Story because I, there's one thing I would have loved to fight because 
Um, I don't care about fighting, um, what's it called? Because, like, um, when it comes to Toy Story villains, so two, the villain was, um, the Prospector, I think his name was, right? Huh, the Stinky Pete? Yeah, Stinky Pete. Like, I don't really care about fighting him. After watching Toy Story 3 and all that stuff, like, years ago, I would have loved to fight lots of, bro. Like, like, a, like, a, yeah. a Kingdom Hearts World based off the events of Toy Story 3 and you I fight lots of. Like, I feel like my main yeah. issue with modern Kingdom Hearts Disney World is that we're not fighting enough Disney villains. Yeah, I get what you mean. Bro. Like, I wish we did more of those characters because those, I some of like those fights some were of so the cool. really cool fights, like the cool Harless fights. But the Disney stuff was really—I do kind of miss that. Yeah, I do. The only I, one I, we really I love, fight the, is, I love uh, the original stuff as Davey well. Jones. And Davey I Jones. thought that was really cool. Why? And but technically, I, I would have loved. I would have loved to fight Rand. Right, I, I would have loved to uh, like fight someone other than Snowball in the Frozen World, even though that's an actually really good fight. <laughs> no, Snowball me. was good, and Skull was great. I love Skull. Justin, that's tell like me your only experience good with Snowball. Thing about Frozen. Yo, so like, I don't want to. Wait, isn't it Marshmallow? I don't want to get. Marshmallow. Into, I don't want to get into the whole. Uh, what's it called? Oh, did I say uh, Snowball? I meant Marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get into the whole all the challenge runs I've done for this series. I don't want to like. <laughs> I am still, I am still salty that Elsa never became your party member. No, I get you. Yeah, I'm just too. Dude, dude that I'm whole world that they was made me listen to the fucking yeah. song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nope. like I listen. I, I actually, I, I'm actually a pretty big fan of the Frozen movies. So like, I'm weird like that. And I was looking, I was so excited for the Frozen world. Um, and uh, it was like one of the worlds i kept asking for in like for on forums and message boards it was like i really wanted frozen and so i was so excited to see it and then we get it and it's like the worst world in the game mm -hmm. yeah, bro no. you never it's, it's called so... arendelle but you never go to arendelle Funny yeah enough, you just right? go into the mountains and then but like it's like tangled had a very similar approach to it in terms of its world design and tangled was just so much better in the mm -hmm. in the game and I love Frozen. And Tangled, you actually get to go to the like... you get to go to the Kingdom of Corona. Yeah, you go to yeah, the I Kingdom, know, exactly. you have a dance, all that cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, fucking yeah. uh, Frozen Two, you guys have seen it. There Frozen Two, I've not seen it. it. I have. Uh, <laughs> fucking, uh, if uh, if Kingdom Hearts yeah, Four has that, like as a as one of the worlds, I can mm -hmm. definitely see like exploring a good portion of that oh. forest and shit. Okay, Ki Frozen Two would definitely give a lot more to that exploration open style of Kingdom Hearts 3 because there's that whole it's the the unknown and you're just exploring this whole thing and going into random caves and stuff would be really cool you could hide a lot of cool stuff yeah, by the way, I, like, by the way I, I want to mention think, uh, world. continue bringing up the mountain yeah by the way continue oh, bringing up Kingdom Hearts World uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna take a piss just, just continue oh, bringing okay. up Kingdom Hearts World <laughs> so, so the other Bruh. thing that I hate about Kingdom uh, about Frozen other than climbing the fucking mountain in like four times is that you don't get uh you don't really know what's going on in the story like yeah the, the story is just kind of happening yeah like the you're just following these people and they're going up there's this dude some shit with the with there's a frozen lake now uh yeah no you know? like the whole thing with hans like he just shows he up doesn't say a word he doesn't world, say a word like, oh. And then fucking oh you know you get to take part in uh, Elsa singing uh Elsa singing Let It Go right 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 yeah you have and you get uh, to hear the whole <laughs> fucking song you get to hear her, her thing do you want to build a snowman right before you build a fucking snowman you know but no we don't get to know anything about the actual story that's going on in that world mm, and that's why I'm hoping yeah, that it's, just, it, it's it's a really it's really sad because I was so excited for that world. That's what I'm saying for Frozen 2, yeah. they could definitely, like, go into that, like, balls deep with, uh, with lore for the world and all that, that would definitely Yeah. Be. I'm just hoping that when we revisit Frozen, we get a much better world. For sure. For sure, for sure. Like, that's all I I'm really want I'm hoping we get to revisit him. The Lion King. Yes, I do too, actually. I love The Lion King. Because that was actually a really fun... Uh, world and I like how you prepare the yeah. lion cub and it kind of changes your abilities a little bit. Oh yeah, no, like the way the way the gravity of everything feels is so different, but at the same time, it's actually like changes for like it's really fun because yeah, you do. got like the big field oh, by, the, by the planes, uh, lion King? and then you run super fast, yeah. so you like fly yeah, around. It's so nice, bro. 
Oh my god. They can redo Lion King because, I, I mean, we still Lion have... Um, yeah, we have Lion King 2. We yeah. can do one and a half by going back in time. And I mean, I don't know. We can just throw our original story because uh, the... Uh, oh, they did that in two already. The DVD videos suck. <laughs> mm. So let's no, just go make an original Lion King story. Look, they did Aladdin Please. 1 and 2. I'm just saying, they can do Aladdin Bro, 3 if they want to. Bro, do the live-action remake. We could do no, Lion King stop! Too, man. Let's just do the remake that they made. We'll Enough. make everything look like that. And I want to mention, so I'm not too sure if we talked about it more in detail. A tre the Treasure yeah. Planet World. I uh, was gonna let I was gonna let Justin have more fun with that. Yeah, you know, there, but... yeah, yeah, Justin, go ahead. You you want to go fun? Go crazy on the Treasure Planet World, Justin. So stupid. All right. So for sure, for sure, you start off on the fucking port on the moon. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. You go into Why? the fucking solar, the solar ship. You fucking, you fucking zoom out, and then, and then it, it plays like a, uh, like Ventus's uh, uh, keyboard, key. Wow, keyblade. Keyboard. Like, <laughs> shut up, shut up. All right, I'm, I'm like half tired. I'm like half tired. Okay, that's why I couldn't I, I remember really Yoko Shimomura. I really got sleep wow. last night. Shut up. Like, and I fucking love Yoko Shimomura's music. That's how I forgot. Okay. Uh, I only woke up like four hours ago. Like. Just imagine, like solar sailing, right? With um, with Jim Hawkins, bro, right next to um the ship. So would you that do like Kingdom Hearts 3's cool. uh ship combat? I wasn't that big a fan of the movie, bro. It's I've never seen it, the movie. It's Treasure a good movie. Planet for what it was, it was very uh, it was very nice. They could also do Atlantis. Atlantis is another one that I would love too. to see. That too, yes. For sure, for sure. Atlantis would be really, really awesome. Can you see a world. King of the Hill world? Because that's owned oh, by Disney my... now. Bro, Disney owns bro the Simpsons now, bro. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, please. Yo, that would actually be super funny because of how clashing the art styles are. Man, man, Homer trying to grab some beer. <laughs> you gotta call him done. <laughs> yeah, they won't do that though. Let's root her. No, I know. Um, it'd just be funny. The the memes. Um I don't know. Yeah, I still stuck with the idea that I really want to Phineas and Ferb world. <laughs> Wait, uh, has anyone brought up Moana? Oh, yeah! Oh, I want <laughs> Moana. We can have, like, a Wind Waker-style world. All right, Derek, given how, like, you just went crazy, I'm gonna let you take the floor with oh, the Moana world, okay. with what you can see. So, I really like Moana, because I really like the music, and obviously the music's not everything, but it's a really good show, or a really good song, or a really good movie and story, <laughs> and I feel like you could make it where... You know how in Pirates of the Caribbean you did sail from island to island? But well, Moana mm -hmm. could do that, except it's on like a small Wind Waker style raft, because that's what the thing is in the movie. So it would be really fun to just go <laughs> around and do that. Oh, oh my god. Please, Nomura, give me the Moana! Because they are, they did um, start talking about, in a Kingdom Hearts 3 about the new princesses of heart, the hearts, but they never really did anything with yeah, that. The only one that's still a princess um, of heart is oh. Kairi. Yeah, but we know uh, that the new princesses of heart we have Anna and Elsa confirmed mm. Mm. to be pr new princesses of heart. Yeah, like, Rapunzel. Everyone forgets about that because Rapunzel that was such well. a small part of the game. Rapunzel what? as well. Rapunzel as well. She's a princess of heart. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Um, but we could have those two, and I think like we they're gonna continue to introduce them, and I think they could definitely use Moana because she's pretty popular. And uh, um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah. What, what other princess Kari? movies have come out recently? Yeah. What about who, Justin? What about Kari? Oh yeah, Tiana. <laughs> Kari! <laughs> ka <-chow! laughs> Yo, <laughs> and and that's what I was saying earlier, uh, Princess and the Frog will be nice. And princess and yeah, the Frog, yeah, I, 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 I see it. I, I like Tiana a lot too, so that'd be <laughs> cool. as, that's that's as long as I'm not a frog. <laughs> no, you have to be. It's mandatory. No, you fight please, with it with the, the, the thing on your mouth. You fight with your tongue with the keyblade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> God, that would be so weird. Bro, and imagine the fucking the fucking platforming's worse than Deep Jungle. Oh my god. Oh shut up. Don't 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 <laughs> That's not do Bro I'm going around with your tongue like spider Dude, Tarzan took it, bro <laughs> Tarzan okay, followed the movie fun, bro. Actually. I will still never forget that Tarzan followed the movie, but not also follow the movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, it did its own thing. It was so stupid. Yeah, I was like what? Like, like, like Kerchak is still alive. It was weird, bro. Uh, but I miss Tarzan. I'm real, dude. I really enjoyed the music. It was probably one of my favorite world musics in uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. 
especially the battle theme. Because, uh, I, 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 know, I like it better in Final Mix, but like having played it on PS2 a ton, I always hated that world. But in Final Mix, it's a little bit better, I guess. I guess I was just the able world, to put up The world wasn't even as bad as I remembered it when I was when I first played Kingdom Hearts 1, but the, the, the platforming is still oh, a pain no, Yeah, ass. completely. It's just, it. I guess we mellowed out where like, Wow, we built it up in our minds that it's like way worse. Than well, yeah, really because did. I remember, I remember being stuck for like half an hour on the stupid vines section, and <laughs> jumping with those fucking the hippos, vines. and you can't jump in the water, and I need to jump to grab I don't know fuck some fucking chest over. On the I do feel end. like Deep Jungle felt like the longest world, honestly. Like it just felt long. With backtracking, it's the same issue the yeah. Frozen World has. Yeah, that too. Frozen World was a, uh, Frozen was just a chore to go through, bro. I, I really did not like yeah. Frozen. Uh, the few moments like the uh, marshmallow fight. Uh, other than that, I, it was it was just a bunch of random bull crap. No, I don't blame you, bro. Honestly, you everything like... from, I like from marshmallow to the end. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's like a well, I mean, like it's like the whole thing doesn't really even like cover the story for real like no, it you'll doesn't. kind of you'll kind of show up for like a scene or two like the olaf scene because you have to go put them back together i guess and that yeah, one was like them, after they force you to listen to another one of those songs that you were already forced to listen to when the song game came out i mean the movie came out mm -hmm. <laughs> bro i don't know uh jacob i don't know if you have a a segment with us where uh, where we talk about like difficulty in the games or anything like that, but like you can doing, bring it up if you want. Doing that proud mode level one run on Kingdom Hearts one, where like the, it it's not meant to be that way. Mm -hmm. It's so fucking ridiculous because I got stuck on Tarzan's world for so long because so uh, weird. what's it called the uh, the I what's the What's the the tiger's name? Sabor. Wait, oh, uh, so in Deep Jungle? I just call him the idiot. Yeah, Sabor, tiger, Sabor, yeah, idiot. So let me the tell jaguar. you, bro. Call Peter, bro. We got oh, Sora beating up, <laughs> beating uh, up jaguars. Was... <laughs> <laughs> bro, oh, my bad. It's not the jaguar. It's um, it's the. It wasn't it, the no, chameleon. wasn't it a cheetah? The chameleon. Oh, the, oh, the bro, stealth it was the chameleon, chameleon the heartless. Stop! 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 That I hate that. Oh, wait, wait, Justin. Before you continue, it's funny. I was about to say, I was about to say, Stink Chameleon instead from Mega Man X. Oh my god! The first time I saw that fucking clay just flies into the sky, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then he gets he gets hit by something invisible. Secret motorcycle. Yeah, bro. I have to the T that fucking scene memorized because I was stuck on that fucking segment for so long because let me tell you all right so that run you have to you have to go with the the staff right because you need as much mp as possible for some reason kingdom hearts 1 has this mechanic with proud mode level 1 when you put no xp or zero xp uh called damage storing and what it is it's basically after every uh after every finisher that you do in the air uh, it increases the damage of uh, your summon or your magic by a fuck ton, depending on uh, whether or not uh, whether or not you've done you've gotten hit, or uh, depending on uh, if uh, uh, you've used something prior. So early as fuck in the game, you don't have that much magic, and you're level one, and it's proud mode, so the damage isn't scaling, so you're dealing one damage. To this fucker that like, <laughs> fucking you just walk in, fucking Tarzan gets shot. All you <laughs> hear is, all you hear is, Clayton. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the chameleon shit. And then <laughs> you fucking start. And then this fucker clocks you from all your HP from off screen because it doesn't have the same mechanic as Devil May Cry where you know you face away from the camera they don't attack you no no that bitch fucking hits yeah. no ass <laughs> just, and, and, just, and, the, and the thing is that game was never meant to done. be played with level one that's the thing no no um, I, I'm not even I'm not even at the whole like whoa, yeah let's not talk about that let's not go there like, but no, and it, it, like, it sucked as well was, Justin because it, it was like, sucks that like you don't have cure by then that's the boss you no. need to beat to get cure no that whole run you don't have second chance or once more. Yeah. At all. Because it's gained through um through experience. You yeah. don't you don't gain it through a uh, story progression like in uh, later games, like in KH two and three. Yeah. So you get one shot 
easily. But here's the thing though. Proud mode in Kingdom Hearts 1 has this little mechanic with your health bar that, okay, you know, in order to mitigate this, you can take at least one hit before you die. At least one. So you at least have like some form of second chance. But um, but it's like if it does a multi-hit attack, you're fucking done. Like, <laughs> GG, shake my hand right there. GG, so shake my hand. Done. That's a you. But hold like, this out. If you ever remember being a little kid and going through the Heartless Gauntlet at the end of the world, where you're in the final rest, where you're by the area of the final rest before uh, where the before Neo Shadows the, spawn in Final Mix, where all the Neo Shadows spawn, where the Behemoth spawns, and there's like eight or nine waves of Heartless, right? <laughs> and with with fucking Invisible Heartless and Angel Heartless and all that bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, if I were to tell you, there's a specific method to do that shit with the damage story because to do it regularly is suicide. There's no way, no fucking way you can do that legitimately <laughs> at all. Because here's the thing, Mushu damage sword does so much fucking damage, you beat Behemoth in three hits. Three hits, bro. Three <laughs> hits. Done. And then you're there with Eroga and you're literally like going around like trying to beat the shit out of everything. I was so stuck on that Heartless Gauntlet because the Angel Heartless are a fucking bitch when they, they cover really their are. fucking their vase and shit. They are. Oh my god. The only god. time I find it uh the only other uh, enemy I find annoying uh, was, I forgot what they were called. Um, the uh, the shadow, like, I forgot what they were called, you know, the, the they, they hold a sword. And all that stuff. I forgot. They're, they're invisibles. invisibles. Invisibles, invisibly. I also hate them too, but especially when they put the sword on the ground. I'm like, bro, I just want to beat you up, man. <laughs> it's like, bro, mm -hmm. I hate it. You gotta wait it out. You have a little thing going bro. around you. You gotta dodge at the right time. Like, man. I, if that run, that run was a test of my patience because, <laughs> because it took me so long to try to get through that gauntlet because it's. It's literally, okay, you beat the behemoth. Okay, there's one piece, there's one round of nine done. Or, I forget how many rounds, but I know it lasts a while. But, like, that's one round done. Okay, next round. You're running out of MP. You're running out of MP. That whole run, you have to run Spellbinder, because fucking, um... That provides, like, the best, uh... The best, uh, damage for your summons, as well as, uh, more MP. So you're just going through that shit. And then by the time you reach the angels and the uh, all the dark balls flying around and shit, bro, you're literally like on three MP. You have to literally whack things with your keyblade, and you're doing no damage at all. Mm -hmm. Bro, like the like, thing with the MP, that's another thing I want to mention because I used to like how it was in Kingdom Hearts One because it's like, oh, I had a lot of cures. I can cure as, as much as I want. But the problem is that, like, as later on, I realize is that if you run out of all that MP. And you're running through Kingdom Hearts 1, you know, you run out of all that MP, you can't use Cure unless you freaking, what's it called? Restore your... You whack things. Yeah, unless or you, you restore, restore it. it. Or you whack things, yeah, like you mentioned. But in Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3, you know, I realize I've come to the conclusion, it's like, letting it recharge is just way better. Because, like, yeah, cause it, it comes back. Yeah, safe, dodge, and then it comes back. And then you can just heal again. Yeah. It just sucks, because it's like, that game in particular is just a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> but, I get like, you. Back to back to the like the original topic because I know I went on a whole fucking tangent on this. You want to rant? Uh, <laughs> deep jungle, deep jungle, big pain in my ass. No, I don't blame you. It just it just run. like deep jungle just felt like a chore, bro. I'm be real with you. It just felt like a chore. And here, and here's the sad part. And yet I still Alex like it more Wonderland, than Wonderland. The <laughs> Wonderland's world with Trickmaster, even worse with Trickmaster because fucking that bitch will clock you with that fireball <laughs> at Mach 10 and. <laughs> Going mock dead. It's like, hi, nice it to meet you. It will be off screen. It's like, uh, GG, shake my hand. It's like, yo, bye bye, bro. All you hear is the sword going, ah! <laughs> oh my god. But no, like, let me see here. Uh, but we're done with worlds, though, right? Any other world you want to, you guys want to bring up by any chance? Uh. Like, any other world that you want to see in Kingdom Hearts one day in the future? I don't know. I'm just, I'm happy to see literally anything. <laughs> Anything? That's fine. You're good. Yeah, Surprising. Like, yeah, I, I used to. But be I really want Treasure Planet. Today. Yeah, <laughs> like for in terms of modern stuff, I can expect something eventually. Like you know, like I think you mentioned it, Derek, like Inside Out, um, and all that I stuff. I mentioned Incredibles. The Incredibles. Uh, are, are they, you I know what? That if they got something like from the past, like you know, like 
for like for example the sword and stone or the black cauldron for example that would also be, be nice interesting too. Mm-hmm. But no. I don't think they'd do it. And outside of like maybe like a uh, small little like mini game. Yeah, I get you. Yo, so funny enough, apparently uh, I didn't know this, but with the Fox merger, uh, Disney owns Anastasia. Yeah. Yeah. They can. I can work. Anastasia World. Dude, they can. They literally own. Uh, I, don't they I mean, own? We can now? do an actual Cinderella. Wait. Everything. Don't they own? Yeah, they own everything. <laughs> Don't they own the Avatar, <laughs> like the Avatar, Avatar movies yeah. and all stuff now? So they can, if they yeah. want, throw yeah, Avatar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go through Pandora and all that stuff. That would they be want. ridiculously stupid, and I really hope <laughs> they don't. I, mean, I will I say one thing about Pandora: it does have a beautiful Disney world. Unless it's like something like Star Wars, we can see these guys fucking in HD with oh. their hair. <laughs> no stop. I mean, it was already HD, but like 1440p. <laughs> Bro, we just go through uh, Disney's controversial bag here, and we pull something from there as a world. <laughs> Born of the South. Please. No, no. Let's go. Disney will never oh. do that again. They're like, oh, nope, oh. none of that. <laughs> They're trying to avoid that. But you know, any th- any other world you guys want to bring up or? The South, but um, I don't think it's a, a good thing to say. Yeah, it's very controversial. So yeah, let's not <laughs> let's not talk about the song of the South anymore. I, uh, I know where Sora will be. But uh, that's I think we're good on worlds. I'm assuming well that we've talked about. Did, wait, did anyone mention the Emperor's New Groove? I know. Besides me, that's a good idea. The Emperor's New Groove that's, would be great. That's a good Maybe idea. Cool. Yeah. It'd just be nice to see. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, more of Lilo and Stitch. Yes, we please. Need, please. I want to go to Hawaii. Surfing. We need the cousins. We need. I want to go surfing. I want to see I'm more. Gonna... Like, I want to go surfing in Hawaii. Yeah, and bro, let me tell you something, guys. Everything I believe that's shown up with um, with Disney's like you know the worlds and uh, the Disney worlds in uh, Kingdom Hearts, I think all have come from like a movie and also like even um, the Three Musketeers and all that stuff or Musketeers, I believe. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, I, everything's I come from. I had that on DVD. The only character I believe in the Kingdom Hearts series that appears in Kingdom Hearts that's not from a Disney movie. Is experiment Sparky. two two one? I think it was, but Sparky, yeah, like Sparky's yeah. the only thing uh, that has come from something because that it's all canon. It's <laughs> all canon to the Lilo and Stitch verse. <laughs> yeah. It's all canon. Yeah. Like, so when you go into the fucking cousins and the whole database and shit, if we ever, bro, I was heavily expecting since they dropped the the Lilo and Stitch bomb in Birth by Sleep, I yeah. was heavily expecting. Kingdom Hearts 3 or any other game in between was gonna have fucking Hawaii. Mm-hmm. I Don't was I was heavily expecting. Well, yeah, I, I'm really sad they didn't. But yeah, with the experiment, uh, with the uh, Sparky, I was actually surprised. Um, seeing him, like it's like you're just there, you're going through Terra Story and all stuff. Like, oh, what's the boss for him? They all of a sudden you see sp- this guy make Sparky. I'm like, bruh. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> like that, that to me shocked me when I saw Sparky. I wasn't expecting to see Sparky there and all that. <laughs> oh, that, wait, you mean the guy that eats the sandwiches? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be epic. Like, hey, man, I'm just here, I'm just here to make sandwiches. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> bro, bro, it's like, yeah, bro, I mean, you didn't beat delicious. the crap out of him. <laughs> just like, you come here, bro. And he doesn't even attack you back. He's just eating sandwiches, and he's just like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> he just wait, why would you do that? No, no, no. It's literally the minigame from the Cartoon Network, uh, the Cartoon Network website where you make Oh, my sandwich. God. Not Cartoon Network, I'm sorry, Disney Channel. Where you're making the sandwiches and shit, you're just like fucking pressing Yeah, you're catching right the sandwiches <laughs> as they fall. No. <laughs> Let me see. I think the I think we're good on Disney Worlds right now. There's something I do want to mention. And it's actually related to uh, Final Fantasy representation in uh, Kingdom Hearts and all that stuff. Like, would you like to see more of that now? I mean, we see them there, but do you want to see even more, I guess, in Kingdom yeah. Hearts 4? Kingdom Hearts yeah. 3 barely had any except for in Remind. Yeah, and no, I'm right? Mad. And they were I just need there. More Final Fantasy. Yeah. That's what's cool. I'm s- that it's Disney yeah. and Final Fantasy. Like, I'm sorry. You think that they would be more involved in the plot because look how well they wanted to restore Hollow Bastion and they were caught they were in the so main good. plot. They were such a big part of the plots in Kingdom Hearts yeah. 1 and 2. Yeah, they were caught and in the they- main plot. It's like you think they would want to help out here. Like, you know, like, all of a sudden, they, they don't comment on the fact that, holy crap, all these people are back? Like, oh, crap, what, what happened here? You'd think they'd collaborate with them, but no, none of that. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, we didn't even have to be a part of the, like, the 13, uh, or, or the 7. Like, 
all they really needed to be were just there to be assisting. Kind of like how Merlin and uh, Merlin was uh, in the battle. Yeah. And bro, look, I'm, and, and, I'm, and I'm gonna yes, say this well. Yen said, I'm sorry. My, I'm retarded. It's like where are these? Where, like where are these other? Where are these other Final Fantasy characters? Well, bro, where is Cloud and Sephiroth? Oh wait, I know where they end up in Smash. That's where they. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, what happened to them? <laughs> That's where they. Like, where'd they go? Super Smash. <laughs> well, um, my whole thing with it is just that they could have had them there, and they could have had like an entire. Like they tried to have like an end game moment at the end of Kingdom Hearts three, where you see everyone together, but like. They could have done so much. Like it would have been cool to see like all of the Disney like characters everyone, everyone, <laughs> every Final Fantasy Not character like that's shown up. That, that would have been awesome. No, no, no. I mean, I'd be interesting to see them involved in the main, like actually, like main main <laughs> boss fight like that. But they've never done that. Oh ever. no, they're not a part of the actual fight. They're a part of like you know against all those heartless. Because of uh, course you need the seven lights and the thirteen darknesses, and more than that isn't. A bro, part of that fight. bro, if we had that fucking segment where we were uh, teaming up with the Final Fantasy characters like in KH2, that, that would have been nice. dope as fuck. That would have been nice. Yeah, like imagine. in the thousand, thousand yeah. shadows. I don't remember what it was. Heartless. You, like it would have been heartless. amazing. Have had like uh. Like, you know, like, everyone's about to die at this point, and then, like, you just see Leon show up. And, you know, because you'd be taken back, because he was the first uh, guy you met outside of Destiny Islands in the in the game series. And Travis you're Sonya. just like, hey, man, you yeah, you're just like, and he's just like, he's, he's there, it's like, oh, you thought we'd just leave you? Hmm. Or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, like, I, I expected to see, like, uh... What's it called? Like Endless lightning or not? Piloting Noctis. a fucking gummy ship <laughs> going in there like, bro, we are about to bring some shit. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Uh, but, and uh, like, like, that's my only issue with Kingdom Hearts 3's story was that it was just a lot of missed opportunities that they could have done. Like, now I don't really, yeah, I will say that, but I'm not going to say like, I don't really care too much that the Final Fantasy characters didn't partake in the battle against Xehanort. I don't really care about that. One thing I do I mind, I wish. <laughs> yeah, one thing I do wish though uh, was that in terms of the final fight was that uh, when Sora went in there and fought all those like thirteen replicas of Xehanort in the in that armor. The North Court. The North Court. <laughs> that uh, what's it called? That the other team members would have participated, like you know the other teams and all stuff. But the thing is, like we saw what happened, so I'm like I'll take that instead. You know we're good. I'm you know, good with that. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I really wish that um, like we had just more in general for that final climax because it was like there was a lot of grand stuff happening and it was definitely better in remind but it still felt a little flat because i you could have done this whole thing of all of sora's journey to get other like mm -hmm. like everything from the beginning because you know his friends are his power right every <laughs> single person he has made a connection with you see the twoey guys you see the final fantasy guys you see all of oh the Disney characters he's met before they're all working to fight together against that that first front and then you get the uh unchained key guys and then just completely wreck out oh, unchained key. you're talking about the uh what's it wait you talking about the uh the union cross you're talking about the union cross guys uh what do you mean the the foretellers yeah the union cross moment Oh, okay, just talking about the other guys. I was gonna say the foretellers are gonna be the next major antagonists. We're gonna have oh, to fight. Oh no, them. I'm talking about the Union Cross like moment, like that using that uh, yeah. that move. But well, Ericus's ancestors dead. Like I mean, he had to like you know. Yeah, with... I'm not. Yeah. I'm not talking about the actual characters, yeah. bro. We do have Ventus. Uh, Lorium's on the other side. <laughs> um, but yeah, just oh Scald is dude, that that whole moment could have been so much bigger. Yeah. And they just it felt like it was downplayed. I don't know. That's why I'm glad that Remind really made it feel like an actual like climax um but even then i still wish they had more like yeah. why wasn't the lingering will fight in the base game because like, he, he just disappeared he, was, he disappeared and i was like where'd he go it was like where do you yeah, go? i'm like what i want to see lingering will like that's like one of the coolest moments ever yeah. and then remind did it and it was yeah. the as i said the coolest moment yeah. ever but back to final fantasy though because i actually Expected to see like new Final Fantasy characters at some point. I was like, okay, maybe we'll see like someone like Lightning or Noctis, but it turned out, oh no, no Lightning. And in terms of Noctis, you get Noctis, but not really Noctis, you know? <laughs> you yeah, get... it's just Riku with a haircut. Yeah, Riku with a haircut. Hey, what happened, Justin? Wait, you get Walmart brand, though. Oh! <laughs> Walmart brand and <laughs> Noctis. I to, what I wanted to bring up was, um, so this could be me spitballing or theorizing or looking way too much into it. 
But I think the reason why we didn't get that much uh, Final Fantasy representation besides, you know, a whole bunch of Disney pandering mm -hmm. is that they knew that this wasn't the final, final game for Kingdom Hearts, and they didn't want to blow their load here. I feel it, 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 up until everything that's happened, it's supposed to be the conclusion of everything up until now. I don't know why they didn't just like do a, a, the whole like you see the whole like journey, like your whole journey, like every little piece of that's made it over the past like uh what like almost it was almost two decades at that point of just this entire journey getting to this one point, and we get here and we see the coalescence of the entire journey hit this moment where it's like oh my gosh these big just this insane moment seeing these characters that for me i've literally grown up with their interactions i've seen them and played with them and i it's like it would have been like such a moment for me that like i literally would not have been able to control like any tears like i would have been broken mentally for like even longer than i already was from the next three Ah, but I completely get that, I and mean, I share that same sentiment, but like... My only issue with 3, my main issue, is that it could have been way more. I feel like Remind See, definitely fixed why... a lot of things for me. Oh yeah, that's I agree. Why I'm saying, that's why I'm saying I think they're holding their cards, get it, because, you know, Luke's are... Shut up, shut up, cards. get out of here. <laughs> uh, they're holding their cards very close to them right now, because I feel like we're probably going to get a couple more games, and that's it. I feel like I the whole stuff no. with the foretellers is going to be it. <laughs> Listen, man, di as long as Disney owns this property, it will always go until it stops making money. Yeah, but I feel like it'll be it for Sora's part. Maybe. Because fucking... He's going to go home and eat right? dinner at some point. Yeah, he's got to go home and eat dinner at some point, right? Uh, <laughs> I honestly feel that, like, they're holding all this Final Fantasy stuff, all this like stuff, this crazy stuff that they want to add for when we have Quadratum and shit like that. And mm -hmm. what's it called? The uh, it's kind of crazy because that whole uh, that whole scene where Ericus is uh, is talking with Xehanort, you know, when they're kids and shit, and they're uh, they're playing the chess game. And he's like, hey, so uh, I have a, I have a new game that I heard about. Man, what's this? Oh, just watch. And it's like <laughs> some crazy shit. <laughs> like I could just imagine. I could just imagine like we in this new realm, Riku or whoever ends up coming along, uh, along uh, Riku's journey. Because, bro, he ain't going by himself. Bro, he I is, swear. He is. He going in. He going he in. They, I He's literally going in right have no now himself, But I honestly, I honestly feel we're probably just like how um, I think Jacob had the idea where we're probably gonna get a dream drop distance too, or something like. A, I'm not too I sure. Feel, I feel Please it could don't. go in that regard. <laughs> I don't want to play that. Bro, kind of game. bro, uh, you know I want to bring that up. Game. Wait, so you know how like Quadratum is like not in the Kingdom Hearts universe, so, you know, it's in the other side. Bro, what if in this other side, that's where, like, we get the world's, like, Star Wars world and Marvel world? <laughs> like, that would make sense, because Quadratum is more of a realistic-looking area. That's a, th that's the thing! What if we get realistic-looking worlds? <laughs> the live-action <laughs> variation, this is it, that's what Derek mentioned earlier. Live-action <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> live-action Lion King world, oh my god, no, please. Please don't do that. I live never, action like, Jungle we, Book. We're gonna get the live action Jungle that, Book I, before regular. Square. If the Square does that, I'm only gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna give him my money, but I'm still gonna be angry about it. Yeah, be and then depressed. it's like Tetsuya already said, "Hey, I like to work in counterparts, right?" And it's like, who's the counterpart Ooh. of Sora, right? <laughs> Look what happens in uh, Remind for the for the the boss fight, right? And every secret boss has always had a significant part of every story, right? Hey guys, I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. And, uh... Or, you know, in terms of secret fights, bro, bro, my favorite secret fight was when you go fight someone, all you hear is, din, 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 din. <laughs> You're just like, oh, no, what is this? That's a fight that you choose to do. That's not a secret. Din, 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 True, true, yeah. What if you stumbled like, upon you didn't know, bro? Like it's yeah, funny you just how... walked up to Sephiroth and you're like, oh, he's cool. Let me talk to him. Oh, fuck. It's like, oh, he's in like Smash it's... now? Okay. 
Oh my god. Like, it's funny enough that, like, Lingering Will, it, um... He... He plays okay. such a big role. Guys. Mm -hmm. So... All I want... Like, if... Before we get a real Star Wars world... Or not even... Even if we get one, I need a fight against Darth Vader. And it's, like, not easy. It's, like, super, like, hard. He uses the Force on you. <laughs> like, it would be so cool. Like, maybe unlock your lightsaber keyblade um, be oh right God. before the battle, and then you're just, like, just, like, going at it. Like, I need to see a fight with Darth Vader, please. Yeah, because how the fuck can you fight him without a lightsaber? That shit will fucking cut right through your keyblade. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, well, the keep is magical, yeah, so it's like the magic bullshit, so. Magic bullshit, yeah. but hey, bro, I mean. <laughs> no, I just think it'd be really cool to have a lightsaber keyblade, because just imagine him, he's like holding, like, the handle, which is like a normal keyblade, but it's like with the material of a lightsaber. And then, it like, when he goes into battle, he just, you see him click the button, and then he just. Into the. Into <laughs> and the it's, just, it's just a kingdom key, but like, lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. Fucking... Yeah, but cool. It, it'd be so cool. Now that bro. now that you bring that up, Edgar, fucking uh, what's it called? Uh, it's kind of crazy you mentioned that because everybody and their mothers looked at Zemnis's fucking uh, his uh, yeah. his weapons, right? As <laughs> as little lightsabers. But then, lightsaber. but then you got that scene in the end of the fight where Riku gets whacked like a baton. Oh my god. <laughs> And that shit looked like it hurted, right? <laughs> and then that same scene in fucking, what, Kingdom Hearts 3? Where she literally fucking grabs that shit with her hand? Oh my god. She's like, no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's right. um, that probably hurts. It's like, uh... <laughs> But, she owns uh, a puppet, she doesn't know what pain is. Bro, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right! <laughs> bro, nobody remembers her. What do you mean she doesn't know what pain is? Yeah, well, I mean, now everyone remembers exactly. her. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think we have Wait, like who? one more thing we should bring up, I guess. Because I think I asked Justin this question back when we did our Melody of Memory video. And it's more, and the last question is more so of, uh, where do we go from here? What do you, what do you think is going to happen next? Well, drum gonna be crazy. <laughs> Dude, I mean, yeah, I know that much. Whatever happens, I'm here for it. Spider-Man is there. <laughs> Spider-Man is there. <laughs> Almost hey, years. Well, 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 if it isn't the Spider-Man. <laughs> Yo, and the possibility... Spider -Man. How, and the possibility how uh, Luke Surd's original somebody might be one of the students, so, uh, like, helping out with uh, Xehanort's, uh, you know, like, what's it called, his students and stuff like that? Like, how, uh, like, Xehanort's in school. Uh, it's, remember the theory I think I told you about, Justin? It was this theory how uh, how each of the um, the students in Z that Xehanort knew, right, that he be he was friends with with Ericus, were based off of was it Norse mythology? I forgot what it was. And oh, like yeah, Norse mythology. Yeah, and one of the person's names is like someone that's always said to be there, but you never get to see him, and he's always disappear. He's always missing, but his name is basically. Um, What's it called? If you add an X into it and rearrange the letters, it, it, it puts it spells Luxord. Wait, Remember, who? Uh, Luxord. Uh, I forgot his name. I forgot the original name of it though. You have to basically re um you have to reassemble uh, his name. But I forgot who it was. I know what you're talking about. Or yeah, remember that I know theory. What you're talking about. Like how he comes from there. And also the other thing I want to mention is that the possibility of Ava being more than just this kind-hearted person that we see. And all that, because from what we've seen, it's like everything that wasn't wasn't it her that Ludor. murdered somebody? No, that was Ventus. No, 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 no that was Ventus. But Ludor. like, well, sorry. Yeah, cause the thing is that I want to mention is that um, basically, um, she tried to prevent everything. You know, she did the whole dandelion thing, right? And you know, that was her way of trying to prevent uh the whole thing from happening. But the problem is, is that what's it called? She supposedly everything was still going to plan. You know what I mean? Until Sora decided. Time to go back in time and <laughs> cheat the system. I like, literally want Bluska do. We can too. Mm -hmm. It's uh, exactly. <laughs> and not only that, in an interview that Nomura had, uh, he mentioned the fact that he was kind of uh, irritated a bit how people were saying that Ava was like the only good member of the Force. So I was like, oh, she's good compared to everyone else. And Nomura's like, I don't like that. I'm like, oh no, stop. <laughs> it's like. He, he didn't like how everyone was considering Ava the good person. And I'm just like, he's going to do something. He's, he's going to do something that's going to make us hate her. 
I can... Ava's actually a bitch all along. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's well, the one that made Ventus kill. Oh my, bro, imagine that's the case. Um, because the thing is that, um, she's like a master of illusions and also she can make illusions and all stuff. So we'll see what happens from there. And not only that, mm -hmm. um, if I recall, if you look at the, um, the chessboard at the end of, uh, three, where you see them playing like, oh, I got, I, uh, I figured out this new I'm game done, and all that. Right. Yeah. You, and it looks like one of them's, uh, Ava's symbol because he had the other four tellers a symbol and one of them looked like Ava's. So it's like. It's still possible that she's still gonna be, you know, in the running and all stuff to fight. But we'll see what happens, bro. I'm, I'm very, very curious and all princess that stuff. Princess of Heart. Bro, no, she <laughs> ain't no princess. Like, well, we'll see what happens. I mean, Yuzora, and I also want to know more about Yuzora, what, you know, his goal is and all that stuff. I really want to see more of that. Honestly, I'm really excited for the Kingdom Hearts series as we go forward from here on out. But, uh, do you guys have anything else you guys want to mention or add in there? Um, all I really want to add uh, about where this story is going is that I don't know what it is, but it is crazy as hell. And I'm glad to be here on this ride with Nomura. Mm -hmm. I love Kingdom Hearts Rose. Fucking love it. Any any other mm -hmm. final thoughts you have, Justin or Edgar? Mm, no, not really. Okay. Uh, Justin, what about you? So, a few things. One, Ooh. we're probably going to be seeing lightning. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, I can definitely see that happening. I can, I can, I can um, see it. Maybe we'll see Advent Children Cloud. <laughs> oh we gonna, already had him. Yeah, we do. No, the Advent Children Cloud from Smash, bro. That's what he means. <laughs> oh my god, no. Um, it, it's actually two clouds. Advent Children Cloud and the one from Kingdom Hearts 1 that has the wing. Oh my god, stop. And what's the other thing yeah. you want to mention, just? So, the whole thing with Melody of Memory is like, oh, you know, oh, we have all these realities, these realms, and then you have Unreality, which is where Sora is now, right? Mm -hmm. And me bringing up, like, we're probably going to be seeing a lot more of the Final Fantasy side with uh, Quadratum and shit. Yeah, we'll see. Like, that, yeah. with how Yozora is and everything, and how it seems to be that he's the Sora of that realm, it seems to be. Um, we'll see what happens, yeah, yeah, I'm curious to see about that. Cause like, how do you know me as a, like, why are you using Sora's name, all that stuff? Yeah, and it's like, you know, they, I want to say they have, he has that vibe that he's a protagonist. Yeah, definitely. He doesn't seem like a villain. Well, he's the main character of his game. That's what I'm saying. He has to be okay, okay, because you know Baron Rex, but <laughs> but you know, regardless of the case, I think in that realm he truly is like that realm Sora, and that's how they're so connected, and that's why we saw that whole uh, that whole uh, cutscene at the end where they were both like finishing their sentences and shit. And mm -hmm. it's like none of this makes any sense to me. It's like they're trying to piece this like, shit together. Like, is any of this for real? Or not. <laughs> or not. But, uh... Um, it's definitely gonna be crazy. Um... We're, we're gonna be speculating this shit beat for the Zane next Orton decade. Well. <laughs> no, the day, yeah, that's right. You still have to beat the... You still have to beat all that stuff. Bruh, and, uh, you're missing out on so much. Yep. Well, then that, I'm is sorry, that it, boys? I really zoned out. Yeah, you're good. So, I apologize, Justin, that I didn't really hear much of what you said. Nah, he's just talking about, like, you know... know. He's just, just talking about how this shit's insane, and now we're getting into fictional worlds, even though yeah. technically we're already in fictional worlds. I know, it's, sure. it's literally meta-breaking, and it's yeah. amazing. I love meta-breaking stuff. It's because it's taking itself so seriously. It's like, hey, so we're in reality. We have to go to unreality. Oh. Or maybe unreality is what we consider reality. Or maybe unreality is the friends we made all along. <laughs> maybe the real you. Kingdom Hearts was the friends we made along the <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, exactly, bro. Gorsh, but I don't think we should tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I guess we're done. Get hit by a rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So are we guys done here, or we got anything else you guys want to bring up? I got nothing. You got nothing? If no. anybody's watching this that hasn't played the series and you're wondering whether or not you should get into it, bro, it is literally for like forty bucks you can play the whole game. I think if anyone's yeah, come true, this true, far yeah. into the yeah. video, they've already played the series. Yeah, yeah, I feel like at this point, yeah. 
if they don't yeah, know so what's going on, on, then we just completely yeah. confuse them and overwhelm them. Yeah, they're like, what the hell these confused, <laughs> spoiled, and they have no idea what's going it's on. Like, what the hell these... They should still play it. It's like, what the hell are these fools talking about? You spoil Kingdom Hearts because you just, it, it's so insane that you're just like, huh? He's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright, so, uh, I guess we're done here, right then? Alright. Yeah. Thanks for yeah, having right. me on. Yeah, no problem. Alright, but before we go, of course. We got shilling time, of course. <laughs> yeah, you got your shilling stuff. You know what, Derek? You go first, bro. Show your stuff. Whoa. You guys can subscribe to me here on YouTube, Nanako PB, or you can even just give me a follow on Twitch, which is the same username. Um, I also uh, have a Twitter where I shitpost. That's literally almost all I do, and then talk about Last of Us 2. <laughs> so if you yeah. want to follow me there, if you're interested in hearing more from me, at Nanako PB, it's the same everywhere. It's pretty cringe. <laughs> pretty <laughs> cringe. I never right. said it wasn't cringe. <laughs> uh, Justin, you want to show your stuff as well? Go, go crazy, bro. Uh, my Twitter is uh, exsoul31. Uh, Twitch is sir underscore void31. Um, you already know what it is. It's your boy. Uh, <laughs> It's your boy. <laughs> your boy, skinny penis. It's your boy. <laughs> and you, Edgar, what do you want to show, bro? I got nothing like I'll... usual. His Twitter's hey, in the description. I got one more thing to add. I got one more thing to add. Uh, oh, hey, add... guys, please uh, follow me on Bandcamp and buy all of my music. Oh. Beats Yo, Beats. Trust me, it's not that bad. <laughs> Trust me. The way he says just, it. Just give me money. Trust give me, me monies. <laughs> But yeah, I guess we can uh, wrap this podcast up, guys. Well, All if right. you got made it to this far of the video, thank you for watching, and later, guys. Yeah, I got Adios. Adios.